<laughs> no, no, no. Don't tell me what I have to love. No, no, <laughs> and don't talk no, about my no, budget. The no, house, no, no, the no, house sweater no, definitely no, came no, in no, sock. Huh? You go to your girl crib and she got an owl sweater in her crib. That's like yeah, that's a new rough. NBA sock, like Damn. in her hamper. Yeah, that's rough. It's like, where you get this from? <laughs> you ain't go online and order this. You can go to OBO.com. <laughs> no. You ain't go to Toronto to no, the flag show. <laughs> you, 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 weren't at that, you weren't at that pop up shop? <laughs> no. No. This park's. Park, park, uh, the, the well, how do y'all go about uh, broaching uh, sensitive topics with your girl? Like, you about, about the owl? <laughs> yeah. You gotta jump right in it. Now you gotta have yeah. a sweat on when she come home. <laughs> yeah. <Size> small. <laughs> yeah, you gotta squeeze into it. You break the shit on the couch. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I fuck with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, right. with this playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> if it's playing. Oh. Something's playing. Gotcha. Oh well. It's we time to move quiet. on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yo, a nigga sitting on the couch in his girl's small sweatshirt <laughs> waiting for her to come home. First of all, let's talk about that. Tell me about y'all waiting for your girls to get home and why you were waiting. Well, when, uh, when it was tension, not when it was happy times. Let me clarify my points well today. I'm pussy. I, I, I got out of there. When there was tension and you were waiting for her to get home you so you could talk sure to her about something. I've done. pretended I've been on the phone. I've been asleep. Mm. I've, been, nah. I've been in the other room. Now is my show. You have to give me some time. You just got to make sure the little shit is done like the dishes are washed. Garbage is taken out. No, nah, I'm, I'm like throwing extra tasks shit. to be done yeah, when yeah, you bed come is made in. Up, bed is made up. <laughs> oh no, honey, <laughs> the closet's organized. <laughs> no, you can, you can hang that up down yeah, here. No, the Absolutely. worst shit is when y'all are beefing and trying to out clean each other at the same time, <laughs> and y'all are just moving around the crib, moving shit around, cleaning dishes, right behind each other, making oh. noise, just looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sam helps to clean when y'all mad. Lucky y'all. <laughs> Sam helps to clean. Yes. <laughs> Uh, microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to episode three twenty one, three twenty two. Welcome to episode. I say it with such confidence. Uh, welcome to episode three twenty two of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon the Don is here. Alexander the Great is here, and Rem is here. How is everyone doing? Lady and gents. Well, Good. happy Valentine's Day. Happy first. Valentine's Day to yeah. everyone in the building. Yes. Oh, look at us. Show oh, can you wish your together. male friends that? I don't happy know. Valentine's Day? Probably not. What do you say? Can you wish your male friends a happy Valentine's Day? I was talking about the group chat this morning that shit nobody responded. <laughs> He was ready, Connor. Was like, "Fuck is his deal?" <laughs> well, that, that's flagrant. <laughs> Bro, this weird. I didn't have Valentine's Day. It's not best friend vibes. At ten in the morning, get out of here. That's some shit. That's Johnny. not best friend goals. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's some shit. Johnny will put in our group chat. Probably so. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, Raga. Right, yeah. Well, the yeah. girls we don't have even acknowledged birthdays in our group chat, let alone Valentine's Day. <laughs> The girls have Galentine's Day. I, I, that's a new one. Galen. Yeah. Galen? What is that? That's the first time I've ever heard that. Uh, really? Yeah. Rem went to a Galentine's last night. Oh, my God. What is Galentine's? Like, gals? Friendsgiving, yeah, gals. Galentine's. Yeah. Nobody they, wants they found to... another way to exclude yeah, men. Say, yeah. <laughs> Why do they always find a way we, to just, like, do their own sneaky we shit can't away do from shit. Much? Not at all. Galentine. So, and isn't that Valentine's Day? <laughs> See, but, that's, them. but yeah. that's where I introduce a valid beef. Because a lot of girls I talk to like girls. So when you exclude men, swag. what does it... No, it's not swag. It's, oh, yeah. it's a valid reason to beef whenever the guy feels like it. If you're excluding men, that's swag. you still like girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So what can I do? On Galentine's Day? Try, try to get, try to get <laughs> no, it on when, Galentine's Day. When I want to touch somebody else but and still be with you. <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, they're not... <laughs> but you make it seem like they're getting together to touch each other. They might how be. do you know that they're not? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. How, do you know, how, how do you know what women Man, are... We don't know what girls... for that rebound? Oh, all right. Y'all for that rebound? Yeah. Okay, I see your point here, Joe. She likes women and you have no problem with her being with women. But when you want to be with women, now it's a problem. That is... I, I get it now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's so a you're legitimate going, beef. So you're going to Galentine's Day. Cool. Aren't you supposed to sit home and wear the fucking owl, owl sweater and wait for you to get home? <laughs> yeah. And extra small. You, all right, great. You're going on a girl's trip. Well, all right, cool. I support that. But what I'm going to do, just like sit here now? Yeah. Yeah. That's what oh, we're no, supposed to do. They, when they go on girl's trips, you, they, you're supposed to be able to do whatever you want. <laughs> that should be like the whole password. For however many days you're doing the girl's trip, I should just be able to wild out. 
Yeah. <laughs> just fuck whatever. <laughs> well, we should get five. The fuck out. Well, we should get five wild out days, like sick days, just whether whether they yeah. leave or not. Yeah, I think that's good for mental health too. Wild out days. Wild out days. Yeah, hell yeah. I like where you guys heads at. Yeah. yeah. If you give me the wild out days, I ain't even going wild. <laughs> At no, all. Sometimes our wild is not even wild. No, not, no not at all. What is Their guys of, wilding? Probably it seen, don't exist no more. No, yeah. Probably send a bunch of dick pics to different chicks. No, T-Rex was wild. <laughs> that was oh, friends. That's go- wild. Yeah. And that ain't goals. guys Friend wilding. goals. Friend goals. <laughs> that was his answer to, to Gallon's times. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were celebrating right, Gallon's times. Let me call Duke up. <laughs> Duke and times. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Phoebe shots. <laughs> no, you you, you make up. me pour my own shots every time. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> Yo, take this off the fucking screen. <laughs> no, Yo, stop one. being so efficient at your job. <laughs> Get this out of here. I don't even I don't know him. <laughs> oh. <Ugh. laughs> we were on a good roll till he put that up there. Best friend vibes. Yeah. Nah. That's goals, no? Nah, no. That's not goals? No, don't pour a shot in my mouth. <laughs> Tell me how Valentine's Day was. We're getting to that. Stop. We're getting to that. We're not starting there. My Tell man. me how Valentine's Day was for you guys. Who if this is important to? Uh, it was cool. Podcasted. Yeah. Yeah. We worked all day. Recording. So. You did not podcast all day, Roy. See. I know. I'm podcasting now. You have a good eight hours a week time. Yeah, some some cool light shit. Okay. Which, which hallmark did you pick? <laughs> I, did, I did not Garfield? hallmark anything. <laughs> were, were there only birthday cards left when you got there? <laughs> I did the custom card. Uh, swag, swag them uh, out. You wrote, a letter, you, wrote a, you wrote a note on the mirror? Yeah, you know what bathroom? it was. <laughs> note on the bathroom. <laughs> Sam. In her, in her Fenty expensive lipstick. I fucks with yeah. you. Yo. Yo, I fucks with you. <laughs> Yo. 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 Yo, you mad loyal. <laughs> Yo, you mad loyal. <laughs> you mad loyal. Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how loyal that's you are. That's definitely Walls Valentine. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy how loyal you are, right? <laughs> Yo, I be liking you and shit. <laughs> Yo, niggas don't know what to say when they're trying to write, write, write you something special. Write some shit, nah. You don't know what the fuck to say. Yo, I no. love you. Like, when, when I wake up and you're there, I'm like, cool. <laughs> That's as romantic as it gets for a man. Like, if you're happy when they're next to you when you wake up, it's like, oh, all right, that's cool. Yeah, it's yeah meant I, to be. I, I fuck with you. <laughs> I hope this feeling continues. <laughs> Parks, how about you? Uh, we worked all day, so we'll do Valentine's Day, Saturday or Sunday. Or Which is today. Yeah, every yeah. day is Valentine's Day. I was day, just right, about Paul? to say, man, oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. Day. They don't know that we recorded yeah. early. You should be serving your queen every single day. Yeah, every day is Valentine's Day for me. You know what I'm saying, Parks? <laughs> that's right. Valentine's. Yeah. What say you, Joe? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> what the fuck? It was, re- was a really good transition. What Euro step was that? <laughs> I said, "What say you? How was your Valentine's Day?" Um, a day, just a day, right? Yeah, day it, was day. it was the fourteenth of February. I had a little voice memo battle. Mm. Okay, oh my God. I don't even want to <laughs> pick it apart on Valentine's Day. Battle, I like, I like your heads at. A little, oh little voice God. note battle here and there. Yeah. Oh my God! Pick it apart on Valentine's uh, Day is an OG move. Yeah. What are we? Oh God! You started that. <laughs> Joe said the "What are we?" text. <laughs> On the early too. Oh, I'm sitting here. Joe me up at seven a.m. Like I'm yo, sitting here on set. I was just thinking. <laughs> Shorty's dead asleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm seven a.m. on set. I was just thinking. I was just I brush my teeth yet. Yo, what are we <laughs> from set? <laughs> dot dot dot. Because yeah. you got to tell her where you're at. Yo, I'm sitting there at work. But before we start, I was just thinking. Yeah. I'm gonna flip it on these chair. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, Mid convo with Remy on the couch, <laughs> and and another thing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that What Are We was still. Oh, it's still. Oh, for sure. That, always, that'll never always go away. Forever. Okay, but all That's right. human nature. We don't even teach that. That's just in your all right, soul. So y'all walk me through this then. Cool. I didn't know that that existed, but I'm stupid. Got it. Still. But why would you say that on a, like a holiday? Because this, this is where you get that answer in their brains. Mm-hmm. And so Today is every- the, the, the day of validity for that question. Mm-hmm. And not for I, y'all. I don't know Hell. why. I don't know why. It just in their brain today is the day that would they solidify if y'all are something mm-hmm. or not. They want to go public today. <laughs> like you know how stocks go public. <laughs> <laughs> like they want to go public today for social media, but they need to know first. That was that Stephen Adams three. <laughs> they want to know. They want to know if they're a publicly traded company. So or not. They want to put the pickup because all they're looking at online all day is couples and you know shit like that, and then they thinking like I'm in. 
We're dealing with this nigga for how many months, and I still don't know what we are. Oh, yeah, they count the months up. Of course. I'm like, damn. They count the days. It's nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You started counting. You count the whole nine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the whole nine. You can't count the whole nine. <laughs> the whole nine. No, you, you can't. You can't count the whole nine months. All right. I'm telling you. The They're first counted. three is just on the strength. Nah. Nah, they don't count that. Shit. They even start to retroactive, like, the talking months. Mm-hmm. Guys don't start the, the time until, until we're... Fucking. Not even. No, not that's even. fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's too fast. Not even. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, way yeah. too we fast. We just getting to know each other. No, we don't start the time until we're over whatever pre-existing hurt was there that you helped co- get us coached through. Mm. And now, when I'm clear and clean, mm. one. <laughs> right. Yeah, I like it. Start the clock. And, and man, we don't even learn your last name unless we're flying you somewhere. So how on earth could could you count that? Right, that is how you that, that is how you learn it. Yeah, and you only know mine because I'm I have an album. Right, <laughs> I have an album. Yeah, yeah, you never asked. Popular ask. podcast. You never asked me shit. But but then you <laughs> then you get scared. Like, wait, you was born in 1996? <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's scary. Well, Ma Ma brought up brought up uh, a good point. I do think that some of it has to do with when you just. When you're single on Valentine's Day as a woman and you're sitting there just thinking about shit mm-hmm. and then you're seeing whatever you're seeing. Mm-hmm. Which you, triggers emotions. It triggers some things. Mm-hmm. And you would like to go public because you and homeboy have been pretty fly for nine months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let it. Don't let one of her girlfriends had just met a guy like a month ago and then like he's showering her with all this shit and they on yeah. the timeline all day. That's, that's called the pressure. That is a now she like wait she just started fucking with First this nigga. Well, women compare look. themselves amongst themselves. So absolutely. Yeah. Now now all it's of a sudden, never about us. all of a sudden now that. I'm yeah. battling a dude I don't even know or met or even seen what he's doing in mm-hmm. your brain, and mm-hmm. now I have to live up to that. Yeah. <laughs> well, absolutely. first of all, let me tell you something. Even in the long lasting committed relationships I've been in, Valentine's Day for me just wasn't the shower her nah. holiday. Mm-hmm. So we use the word shower. It's a stupid holiday. Nah, it's, it's a very stupid holiday. You get a basket, a candle, a card, dick candy, some flowers. Dick mm-hmm. candy? And it's dick and candles in the <laughs> crib all the time. Where'd you the dick candy? Well, we're, we're getting to the T Rex topic next. You guys, <laughs> you guys just keep trying to fast forward through our Valentine's Day topic. Like, but it's fine. Right. You guys are antsy. Right, right. <laughs> well. <laughs> Holy shit um, What was I saying I think Every time T-Rex comes up My mind gets <laughs> <laughs> You were talking about uh, Even in committed relationships the, In a shower And you on gum. Valentine's that's Day That's not the day of The shower Is all I'm saying Well my, my only thing is If if you're somebody that You know gives a, Gives a woman Just on a regular day Just get her something It doesn't have to be Nothing crazy But it's like I, I think that Valentine's Day shouldn't be that big of a deal because it's like I get you shit on a regular Tuesday. Damn, well, you be tricking. No, I'm just saying if you do. <laughs> you just admit it. No, I, I'm not saying me. I'm just saying uh, if you're a guy that does that, I don't see why a woman would be pressed. Oh, that's definitely true. For you to be like, oh, I Valentine's tricking Day. a little bit. But that's no? what I'm saying. It's not for us though. It's not Valentine's it's Day. It's not, not for. It's just to, for them to show whoever's following them that yes, like it's somebody the special. I, I, I've been wanting to trick. <laughs> they not letting you trick. That's fucked up. And trick, it ain't one of them things where you could just run out and be like, yo, you want me to trick on you? Like, <laughs> I thought that's how it worked, actually. <laughs> so did I. I thought that's exactly how it worked. Just run outside and ask them? <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, you want some money? Yo, you want some money? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought that was the point of tricking. Yeah, is no. to just yeah, get rid of all it, the bullshit. It's gotta are, you, be are you about to get evicted? <laughs> it's got to be introduced cooler than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you say you flash them a little something? <laughs> Reel them in? Yo, what kind of shoes are those? <laughs> no, you could do better. Nah, no, I can do better for you. <laughs> Let me get you out of that hell. <laughs> All right. All right, man. So Joe definitely go slow. Let me get you out of that hell. <laughs> Let me get you out of that hell. Damn, I'm now, now you got me thinking about what's my intro tricking line. And since I'm the only one here that tricks, I guess I'll be the one to have to come up with that oh, answer. Oh, I'm oh, thinking about it. I, I pay a high rent every month. <laughs> that is tricking. That is tricking. Oh, That's tricking. Hold up now. You're pardon. You're pardon yeah. now. Hold up. Yeah. No, 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 That's tricking no, for no, real. no. I can show no, you some bills. Bills add up. I don't think women see it that way. Right they don't. That's cool. No. no they look at it like, well, you, you know what's funny? They don't anyway. even look at it as that provider thing either. No, not really. No. They don't They're make that fall th- under any bucket. There's just no. food in the cupboards at all times. Always. Mysteriously. Mm-hmm. And when it's gone, I go to the store. Yes. <laughs> right. It's every time you flip that, that light switch, the light come on. Yeah. Every time. Internet works great. 
Speedy. Yeah. <laughs> that you, shit is zooming you can, through. You that's that spectrum uh, shit. Yeah. Netflix on your phone. All them stupid no, no pictures buffering. you're sending your girly right. group chat, don't they zoom right through? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck zoom out. Right you through. You notice you can watch yeah. any network you want at any time? Yeah, yeah. you ever notice you go through my DMs really quickly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go through my Yo. DMs really quickly. <laughs> See how quick no that problem. Wi-Fi work? Y'all saying all of this shit. I have dead been in some type of argument with your significant other and they'd be like, yo, what, you want some type of major props because you pay the fucking rent? Yeah. Yes. I have literally been in that fight. I would actually love that props. Hell yeah. (laughs) Prop that That's a good prop. You live comfortably. No worries. It's a good prop. All right. (laughs) T-Rex. Nice little pat on the back for, thank you for the heat. You You gotta just turn, you don't use Siri. I don't use Siri at all. You gotta turn her off. She never talked to me until I got this new phone. Oh, ah, okay. Women just continue to interrupt your life, man. I get it. It's a metaphor. She said, what are we? <laughs> Imagine Siri hitting you. <laughs> Jill, you haven't asked me anything in a while. <laughs> Long text. From Siri. Oh, no, I'm back to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Flashbacks. Mom, what's up? All of us spoke about our Valentine's Day. Hey, what are you doing? Who Shit. did you go see the photograph with? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that though. <laughs> photograph. I'm gonna go see the photograph tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, everyone's doing it. That shit is sold out everywhere. What I've seen that shit tonight. It's over. I'm gonna go see it though. Okay, but about, about, about the balance. original question. <laughs> I said nothing. Ball smooth, man. Ball smooth. <laughs> I said I'm not doing nothing. I thought I answered that. No, y'all didn't hear me. I heard you, and I accept that answer from you. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. Uh, was there any... <laughs> I accept that yeah, I'm, I'm not playing with more. I'm not playing with more. This is good communication. That is We're acceptable. I'm not, I'm not doing anything, I okay. promise. I but believe is, that. Is there any women that may have expected you to do something? No, I don't think so. What? What is yes to? No, I'm, no I don't think say so. Say yes to something. <laughs> if it's yes, I'm going to say yes. Are no. you a straight man? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I knew how to get. I knew how to get a yes out of him. <laughs> More than his ego. What do you think bag. about this T Rex thing? <laughs> <laughs> I spent like nine segways in the T Rex bag. <laughs> no, we got. I going. didn't know that that was T Rex. Who, Who did you think it was? Well, let's inform the listeners. Oh, you got on Saturday. One. Amani sent something to the group chat <laughs> and said, "Yo, I don't mean to be disrespectful, and I don't know if this is Rex. So if it's not, I apologize." But here it is. And it was like a world star link. So I didn't really click it because it was a world star link until the oohs and odds started. I was like, all right, hold up. So I click <laughs> on the so I click on the link and the first thing I see is Duke. There's a Duke there and he's tatted up and he was talking. And then the camera panned left. And a gentleman that looked like T Rex was there in a in a droopy V neck and do rag and he didn't look parched <laughs> and then duke i don't know his name that's duke. why i'm saying duke but duke then poured some ciroc and this is not a ciroc ad in a <laughs> shot in a, i don't think i don't think ciroc wants any he, of this publicity <laughs> he poured this ciroc in a shot glass mind you audience there's not a cabinet in sight. <laughs> They're not in the kitchen. Where the fuck? He just pulled the shot glass out the bed. <laughs> and taking shots of vodka is just sick. That's sick. That's well, six. It, no, might, it might have been doing? coconut, but still. Fam. Still insane. <laughs> there's way more sicker than just taking a shot <laughs> in this footage. All right, so he pours this in the shot glass. And with a he, boogie playing in the background, and he's <laughs> and wait on the, the, the twenty seven inch TV. <laughs> oh my that's God. that's the plasma from the office. That's Michael's plasma. <laughs> there is so much wrong with this room. <laughs> oh, wait, so shit. okay, I don't even like how T Rex opened his mouth to receive the shot. <laughs> yeah, he was considering. Was he, was, he, he leaned over. So T Rex opened his mouth, tilted his head back, <laughs> disgustingly, might I add. <laughs> Took the shot, looked straight into the camera. <laughs> Fucking looked like a baby. As if bird. he was surprised that he just took a shot. He didn't try to look cool, cam paid and full, that whole thing. He didn't try to do that at all. He didn't even try to look cool in the beat he's, before he gets it. He's, look at it right there. It looks <laughs> Oh my. It it looks like he's it looks like he's uh having sex with someone, whoever the someone is, 
We're unable to see them, fortunately. Uh, I don't want to know what girl you coerced to come in this room. You got Michael Scott's TV on the wall from the from the office. Cable's wild out there. Oh, yeah. well, all that Chris zigzagging. Or, <laughs> it ain't even in a straight line. Get the yeah. little bread time, my nigga. Boogie just put out an album. You fucking up his his whole shit right now. It is disgusting. That nigga, hey, that nigga Rex looked like he was robbing a nigga house and they turned the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Duke ready to give him another shot. Well, he said he said uh, in our quote that was friendship goals. Yeah, best friend goals. Who said that? Duke. Duke. Oh, Duke said that. Duke said yeah. that. Yeah. No, Rex did not say a word. He took his shot and kept fucking. <laughs> continued with what what he was preoccupied with. Listen, I'm I'm 39 years old. I've lived long enough to know exactly what this video means. <laughs> I know what this video means. So what does it mean? Can I say I can't say what this means? You can okay. say it. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't say what this means. What? Because some somebody try to shoot me if I say it. Oh. But I know what this video means. Yeah. I get it. Um, react. Uh, <laughs> Maul, would you ever want your best friend to drive the boat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Especially not while I'm having sex. Like, you can get the boat okay. away from me. But what if what if you what if you thrashing some cheeks? And thrashing you're like, and you're like, Rory I'm, not, I'm never thrashing <laughs> And you're like cheeks. And Nah you thrash You thrash in cheeks bro I'm not thrashing in these cheeks You're a Harlem thrasher not thr- <laughs> <laughs> So alright You thrashing some cheeks right Thrashing it down <laughs> Joe Don't play with me man. I'm not Harlem thrasher <laughs> You're a Harlem thrasher no, I'm the, the boogie down <laughs> No I'm nobody's thrasher <laughs> The, bro- the Bronx Bomber? No. no. Why, no. But, what's a, but why don't he want to thrash? <laughs> I'm not thrashing anything. All right, fine. Forget it. All right. All right. I'm not hypothetically. Thrashing. No. <laughs> no. You're, you're politely. Hypothetically. Just, just put. You're, you're, you're you are. Right. Uh, well, she's feeling foreign. thrashed. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you're like, yo, I would love some Ciroc. And then your mans, who happened to just be in his drawers, had some Ciroc in his hand. And you're so preoccupied with the thrash, you got both hands on it, so you can't reach for the shot. No, you wouldn't sure. want your mans to help you out? I, it's just so much wrong with that. First of all, why why is he in his drawers? Whose what? house is this? <laughs> you know whose house that is. You be, you've been in that room. Yeah, Duke is wearing less clothes than the dude fucking. <laughs> That's well, crazy. I, I could answer that, but somebody would shoot me. <laughs> Because there's a weapon in that room. <laughs> Definitely. There's, there's a gun in there. Without question. Be clear. There's, there's, there's some yes. guns in that and room. And the serial numbers are all scratched off. Yeah. <laughs> right next to the shot glasses in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Shorty probably holding a gun. <laughs> Who is fucking T Rex wearing a turquoise do rag? <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> dead ass. Imagine it's just boogie, boogie shit. Boogie shit. <laughs> it's the rollout. It's yeah, marketing. I, yeah, yeah. I swear to God, I didn't think this was T Rex until I came in and y'all said that to me. That's T Rex. You, you didn't, when he stared at the camera like that, who you thought that was? <laughs> Somebody who looked like T-Rex. No, no, that's Rex. So can y'all, give me y'all interpretation of what's happening here. I gave mine by saying I can't give it because they would shoot me. So you know what um, I'm thinking. I feel like, <laughs> I think, first of all, Rex is too old. I, uh, He's still fucking in the same room as his homeboy. In that room. Ain't Rex on my age? How old is Rex? Yeah, same age. Fam, maybe a year younger. You Harlem, oh man, I'm from Harlem. What the fuck? Is <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, so hold up to it. Yeah, All right, right, so finish. Come on, finish with uh, yeah, finish with just, your take, uh, boy. You too, you too old to be fucking in the same room as your man. Yeah, y'all still do that? Like I wouldn't. I'm not fucking nah. in the same room. I didn't do it when I was <laughs> of age to do it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's just yeah. I felt I'm past that. I felt yucky. <laughs> I feel the fuck you didn't. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely, listen, I've never partaked in, in, in a train. The only train that, I've, that I've ever been invited to partake in is the one I always mention here, mm. where they wanted me to go last with Frida. <laughs> that was my introduction into train world when yep. I was 16, so I, I wasn't rushing to go. I couldn't. I, <laughs> some of the concepts that the streets tried to give us and our friends, the train friends, is wild. Was sick. Yeah, that's a I, sick. I never really grasped some of it. Yeah. Like. Fam, I know a this lot of- girl cut school and we're all in here. Y'all, in an hour, the whole school will be out. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Yo, why? I think I'm cute enough to go up there again. That's a fact. That's a fact. You start looking at some niggas ahead of you in the train and be like, wait, how? Yeah, man. <laughs> she want to fuck me more than she want to fuck that nigga for sure. But this looks like a train, right? Because Duke looked like he just finished fucking somebody. Yeah, this, I, I would this, assume so. This looks like group sex. Yeah. 
For sure. Or they're just really good friends. Well, show the group. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. We can leave it to mystery. I've seen enough. Yeah, this this was some nasty group shit. He's mad, he's sweating. <laughs> like <laughs> he's his face is glistening. Well, you know the New York apartment he'd be a little warm. Yeah. I just don't understand how y'all in that small room fucking. I don't understand how what, y'all. What's not the size of the room? It's the issue here. Really. Right, I guess I'll ask you guys this question: What do you think it smells like in there? <laughs> Coconut Ciroc. Playoff basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Illegal firearms. Yeah. It's just smell like Elton Brand balls in that room. <laughs> <laughs> that should definitely smell like a sweaty locker. Sure. That should probably smell need, like oh, summer madness. I suck this thumb a little bit. Not, come on, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get every drop. We're not doing that. 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 Don't do Rex like that, man. <laughs> me do Rex like that. He didn't suck me, that. Me? He didn't suck that he man's thumb. I'm, I'm the guy that's nah, doing it up. He didn't suck that man's thumb. Don't do that. Yes, he did. He did not do that, man. All right, my bad. My bad. He sucked his thumb. All right, maybe my edit is different. Yeah, you got the edit. Maybe version. my edit looks a little. All yeah. right, your edit. Hey, this is the clean. This is the radio version. Holy shit! Man. That's a face of regret, right hey, there. I tell you one thing. That's a face of holy shit. You were filming that. <laughs> he didn't know this was being filmed. He seen that bright ass light on. He knew what time it was. It was. It's the only light in the room. So yeah. You got the TV. No, you got a boogie. I gotta hear Rex. I gotta hear what he got to say about this. Yeah, I gotta know I if he'll to. ever battle again. There are some. There's it's definitely some, some uh, sticky mice traps in the room. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. no, they got yeah, the fly yeah. shit hanging from the, yeah, from the yeah. top of the ceiling. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, yeah. that's a fact. But being used for something else, like to keep a cabinet closed too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think shit is being multi-used in there. Everything has sure. multi, yeah, multi yeah. purpose. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Can Rex yeah, battle definitely against- the, the square roach joints yeah. that you fold up? Oh, yeah. Can Rex battle again after this? I mean, no. he kind of hasn't been battling. No. He looks like he's battling somewhere right He's going to be the punchline of the next battle no matter who's battling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody got a ball for him. Rex. Whoever he fucking ain't even having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> she had time to pull out the phone she and make a movie. <laughs> She's yeah. like this. She, I am not being thrashed. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to get thrashed. Duke just went to work, though. <laughs> His hair looked fucked up. He's sweating. So this is best friend goals for guys. Yeah. Take yeah. that, Gallant's time. Yeah. Gallant times. Yeah. This is the male uh-huh. uh-huh. Rex held it down for us. We counter that with Rex and Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're down. Yeah, I think they're winning. winning. Yeah, they're winning Galentine's Day. For sure. If this yeah. is what niggas we, do we, when we it's Galentine's Day. We're down we 20 right now. Yeah, we're losing. Nah, well, yeah, but from this, and only in Harlem. Yeah. Only, <laughs> only in Harlem. Uh, this is bad. River, Riverside Church is down. <laughs> this, this is bad. Riverside Church. River, River, the, the Groucho. What is it, what's they call? The Gauchos. The Gauchos is down, goddammit. Hey, what's your young ass know about the Gauchos over there? Look at you. <laughs> Fucking, uh, it's another thing that bothers me about these fucking Valentine's texts in my fucking phone. All, all year has been real ass bitch. Give a fuck about it, nigga. <laughs> like, it's over. All of this, where, Today they want to be emotional. Where is it? Yeah. Yo, every girl song tells us y'all don't give a fuck about us. Mm-hmm. Keep the fucking energy, goddammit. it. Mm. Chick, mm-hmm. Chicks treat Meg The Stallion and that type of rap like the way suburban kids treat gangster rap. <laughs> like we love it and we're gonna repeat it and we're gonna rap and we're gonna dress that way we and we're gonna that act life. that in the pictures fam no we don't live that life Not <laughs> you don't live that life it's cool like it's okay you can enjoy it I enjoy it too but sorry we don't live that life that's today, not who today we are they're, today they're emotional <laughs> only today there needs to be a girl podcast like us cause that podcast could come out and talk about all the women that these women really look up to and what they're really doing mm. Hmm. We can't. No. <laughs> we can Definitely try. Can. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, we won't, don't buddy. Try? No. Okay. No, 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 we don't. No, we do not. We <laughs> that bitch. Get the fuck out of here. All right. We dealt with that shit all year. Fam, it was their year. Mm-hmm. I just knew Valentine's Day was going to breeze by. No. <laughs> nah, no. Nah. Nah, fam. No. Nah. Sorry to hear it. That's cool. Whatever. Just have my man pour some Ciroc in my mouth and keep it pushing. <laughs> hey, Boogie did just drop an album, so 
It's the time. Ah, uh, maybe that was paid promo. That's what I'm saying. Maybe that was viral. Maybe that was pay for play. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. All press a- is good. A Boogie press. didn't pay anything Fair. for that. Play. A Boogie was furious when he saw that. Well, what's the name of the new A Boogie album? Artist 2.0. I oh, hear you, it's good. Oh, so come on. Rex had to show you Artist 1.0. <laughs> he had to show you what, what the old shit was. <laughs> this is what we used to artist be on. Artist 1.0. <laughs> Rex is Artist Yo, if 1.0. I had Rex's phone number, I would call him. Because, I, I, like, I fuck with Rex. But I can't. What is that? I'm sure you could get Rex's can we, can we? I'm sure it's an easy number to get. If somebody can get it, I, I, I'll call him. Because. <laughs> He's not answering. <laughs> no, I'm going to get it. Hold on. Yeah, please. Oh, that, oh, that would be awesome. Because, no, nah, he don't want to come up here and fight me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. He can. But this, oh, man. Man. All right. Just have some Ciroc. Maybe they'll. All right. While Maul does yeah, that, be we'll, a good we'll, way. we'll move. Oh, damn, I really want to see what the. I wish his shoulder would move. What is that under the TV? That square. Is that his, like, book? Is that a shelf of some sort? Is yes. that art? No, it's a mirror. So. Sh- Roy, so, shut so the could, fuck up. That's a mirror. You can see the reflection. <laughs> yes, that's just what about the edges? Around, so she can see. That's a There's mirror. There's no mirror on the edges. Yeah, come on. You know that. That's a. You know that mirror. <laughs> Yo, Damn, we all had that mirror. mirror. We Yo, have these, that mirror. Uh, these niggas is fucking in a crack house. <laughs> that's the best place to fuck. That is a good place to fuck. I fucked in a crack house. Yeah, <laughs> but but not that's at this age. <laughs> not in 2020. All right. Well, yeah. Get get a rush. <laughs> I'm fucking in the crack house. Rex wasn't putting in no work to whoever that was. <laughs> His face is fucking hilarious. Yo, that's the funniest shit. Or it's not, but I ain't getting deep. <laughs> it's either funny or it's sad. Listen, man. Yeah. I feel you. Like, does he have a way out of that room? He's doing it right now. <laughs> is that, are those the eyes of saying someone this, saved yeah, me? Yeah, like, this is how he gets out. What are y'all? Is he, is he on a leash He's got to right fuck now? his way out. Let's relook at this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Rex can get out of this room. We 40 he minutes might. on Rex. <laughs> <laughs> we got to stop. Name a pod. Name a pod that could. <laughs> the range. God. Yo, Rex, no, he, you, might, he might be a prisoner in there. Rex, for sure. You, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He might be a prisoner. <laughs> We don't know that. Bam, his bunkie is there taking advantage his of him. <laughs> Making him take shots. Boy, come on. You, you ain't never went to jail. Your bunkie was strong. Yo, man. Yo, eat Yo, this. Yo, <laughs> eat this. <laughs> fuck out of here. Yo, man, eat this. Yo, you need, some, nu- you need some nutrients. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Yo, man, Yo. eat this. Yo, let me get that mattress for the night. <laughs> yeah, I know what the fuck be going on. Yo, man, eat this. Holy Yo, shit. I need your pillow. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. God, <laughs> look at the Jordans in the air. Oh my God, <laughs> this is bad, man. Ugh, this oh, is nasty. I'm dying. Nasty I'm behavior. dying to see more of this room. Like, uh, like, uh, like, don't fuck with cats. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need on this case. Yeah. We need the don't fuck with cats people to get to the bottom of this. Don't, right. yeah. I see size twelve Jordan that looks like a serial code. We'll figure out where he bought these. They only at. made those in Russia. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't fuck with Rex. Don't fuck with Rex. (laughs) (laughs) Or Rex's cats. (laughs) All right, you guys. This this is the second uh, dot mob offense of this degree. Remember when Mook was smoking out of someone's toes? Fam, fam, fam. I will never refer to none of them niggas as mob nothing. (laughs) Fuck is you talking about? He was smoking out of someone's toes? Yeah. I don't remember that. A a real masculine foot. Is Mook? (laughs) Mook is not dot mob, right? Thought he Mook was the, graduated. Thought he was the leader. Thought he was like the father of them. <laughs> he graduated. <laughs> How he, he left graduated. <laughs> who, who, who's in Dot Mob? <laughs> them well, two. Shine has gone, right? They don't like each other. Or did they reconcile that? I have no clue. It wasn't Daylight in it at one point? No, nah, he didn't. Know. He, well, Daylight will own his fruitiness. <laughs> so I'm not even mad. He came out and told a slaughter on some old other shit. <laughs> was that the one we shot on the stage? No, that was two oh, other God. battles. <laughs> All right, Scream Man, please take T-Rex off the screen. Ne- never, to, never to return. Never to return. Unless more footage comes out. Of course. You're not waiting for the part How two? the fuck he going to walk on stage now? I said yo. They know we said yo. No, you can't. <laughs> you should have said yo. Um, all right, it's the five-year you anniversary. said something. Yeah, said, say anything. <laughs> you didn't even request us to rock. <laughs> Holy shit. He swallowed it, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
five year anniversary. Hey! If you're reading this, Rex, it's too late. <laughs> what? No, I was just saying it was a five year anniversary. Uh, you have to follow that with something. Uh, I thought you were following it with energy. Bump. Then no, we're going to no, get some bars. No, this is just a nice music bed. Oh, no, this has got to be a little louder for a bed. Oh, fuck it now. Yeah. I cannot believe that I hated on this album. <laughs> I think a lot of people did, though. That was a huge mistake. Yeah, it was. That was a huge, huge mistake. Come on, walk one back that y'all thought was trash, that was fire, or the, or, or reverse. I didn't like this album at first. Album? Um, I feel like it was an album that just came out not too long ago that we all came back in here and walked back. That's true. That's Can't true. remember which one it was, though. I didn't like Damn that much. Yeah? Yeah. I like Damn a lot. Uh, I walk back a lot of my salon shape. I still stand by it from the last album. Yeah, because I I said that she said so much on the seat at the table, and they didn't say anything on this one. I I listened to it in a different place, and I was like, all right, I I get it. I'm walking back because I really hated on it. Oh, you listened to it after you and Sam finished cleaning. <clears throat> yeah, no. <laughs> after the argument, it's a morning album. <laughs> I hated that album. Listen to it early I'm not in the a morning. morning, person. So. I'm a morning person. I'll maybe I'll try it in the morning. Try it in the morning, and do some shit. Oh no no no, that's enough. Uh, it's too uh, many. It's no, too no, many no, rules no, no, around. Yeah no 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 yeah no. no. And no. you also no. do all that. Also have on satin PJs. Yeah, like if I gotta do all that, <laughs> like, you have to light a specific PJs, stress relief candle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I walked back some of my hate on that on that album. This album is fucking. Would y'all say that this is one of the uh, better albums to come out last decade? Yeah, for sure. That's not a reach, no. a stretch. No, Got no, it. No, no. I didn't think so either. I have people trying to fuck up my day in real life. Jealous one still envy. Come on, man. <laughs> you was trying to fuck his day up. <laughs> it was you. You was trying to fuck his day up. Great project, great album. Congratulations to all parties that were involved in the creation of this great body of work. Uh, the fans really won with this one. <laughs> um, I still have Jungle as his, his best R&B song. Number one. I don't know about that, but... Not letting you do it to me this week. <laughs> not letting you get me too far. Come on, you want a shot? You want a shot? <laughs> Jungle. <laughs> Come on, take a shot. Uh, out the out the red cup. <laughs> Fam. Hey, that's the other thing. Hey, Rex looked like his whole face was about to fall off from that girly ass shot he took. Like, do you ever have you ever gone out drinking? <laughs> <laughs> the coconut right, Ciroc should not make you screw up like no. that. Oh my god. Especially when you're in some I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to record. Tell me who put this out. We 50 minutes in on that. <laughs> <laughs> Who put this out? I have no idea. Who leaked it? That's your dude, man. Hit the Harlem Board of Administration. I don't, man. I just hit I just hit trying to get Rex's number. He got to explain that. He has to. Like, that's nasty. And find out who leaked it. Who killed T-Rex? His last battle? Never mind. So, Quentin Miller. No. <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Cause one last thing on this T Rex thing, to Maul's earlier point, there has to come, a, there has to be an age where you say to yourself, "I am no longer fucking under in these conditions." <laughs> right. Like there has to be an age where you say, "This room isn't the room for me to fuck in." Like forget about what he's doing and who he's doing it with. Forget Duke. Forget the shot. <laughs> it's hard to forget those things, but the room. <laughs> it's really tough to <laughs> take those out of the equation. All right, forget it, man. <laughs> Listen, I that's hear all, you. That's all I had. I hear you, and I agree with you. But how many what, rooms? What if, what if that's they shit? Like, tell me what how if many, That's where he like to fuck. Tell me how many rooms you guys have walked in to fuck and then had to call audi audible. Not many. But has it ever happened in life? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Not many times though. I'm nasty. Joe, yeah, Joe, I'm really dirty, man. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. Be. I fucked in some dirty places. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I, I used to. I want to yeah, sit I'm here saying, and be at like, some yeah. point, you got today's where you was like, I'm not fucking here. Oh, yeah. That's what Joe is asking. Like, at what point did you realize, like, all right, I'm not fucking here? No, but N took the necessary steps to make sure that you never fucked there. Like, mm. at some point, I said to myself, okay, I'm done going to her house. 
Cause, yeah, I'm with nah, you. Because I don't know. Nasty house. Because I don't know. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I met a girl once on an uh, internet date, and her house was insane. I, could, I was not fucking there. I've told the story about Heaven's house a bunch of times. Right I'm, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Yeah. She, her shower her shower head was on a two by four <laughs> how I already know what heaven's house looked like <laughs> it wasn't heaven I, I know it wasn't heaven she, had, like, she ain't seen none of the roaches either <laughs> oh, no. she ain't seen a thing that, that's my she's moaning away of, of, I'm of like dirty uh, houses so why are you soft yeah. <laughs> why it's why a, is it getting soft it's up? a roach on my dick <laughs> <laughs> Oh, some nasty chicks out here. Okay, yeah. Quentin Miller. Quentin and Miller. God forbid you nut and then turn the lights on to go to the bathroom and oh, oh, she scatters. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> or you ever call yourself being slick. Now you go to the hotel, some nice shit, and now you find out that's where you find out she a dirty ass bitch. Of course. Like, yeah, you fucking the vibes up in the suite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you got this shit to is go. expensive. Relax. <laughs> Y'all ain't never had a hotel. I had one girl come through and then she left and then somebody else came through a few hours later. Of course. Yeah. But what are you doing? for. Rory, in this room of men from all different walks of life, I will no longer, of course, okay. Fair. just assume. You are right. I will ask. But yes, yeah. I think every man in this room has done, had done a double header before. But I will ask you guys this question with a double header. Did you shower in between? Never. Yes. Never share in between. Sink. Share all that's, that DNA. That's part of Parks, Parks, I'm with you. A little sink shower. Just, just rub off just rub off the essentials. It's like, it takes five minutes to take a shower, fellas. Like it ain't that long. It takes one and a half in the sink. That's, a, that's some nasty shit. <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> He's got your beat. That's some nasty shit. Wash your ass, man. Okay, my ass did, is clean. How, like how did the take, look- it takes 10 seconds to grab the washcloth and just do this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all that just, that y'all clean nothing. <laughs> oh, listen, if we're disgusting. getting into talking about how disgusting we are, then I'm down. I'm here for it. <laughs> Quentin Miller. I like not getting in the shower right after some warm sex with a hot babe. Yeah, no, I like that. And when she leaves, I like to lay in my seat sometimes. I like our our scent still there. No, but we talking about it for somebody else's. I like to bring that scent to the next participant. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, She she picks up on the vibe. (laughs) Participant. (laughs) (laughs) Throwing the throwing the next one. I I treat I treat that like mixing colognes, nigga. Oh no, no, I can't produce. This sin on my own. No, no, uh, <laughs> I forget it. I'm uh, talking about when I was younger, by the way. Uh, when I was younger, I'd be getting killed for stories. Y'all killed me for my Michael Paul story last week. I was a kid, guys. I was young. <laughs> Fuck. Quentin Miller. And I don't believe Maul's never thrown it, the next chick into the old wet spot before. Maul's no, definitely done that. I haven't, bro. Women, bro, you know women. What is Maul women, women examine shit, bro. <laughs> so they will know. And then that's a that's a conversation you don't want to have in that moment. Dumbest way you ever got caught. Cheating or having another girl or doing something you weren't supposed to be doing. Uh, she left <laughs> doing, do, doing it in front of her. I <laughs> uh, see. He just went straight, right. for, he went straight right. to the rack. <laughs> <laughs> he went straight to the rack on that one. Where Caruso, he banged it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have any before? Hell yeah. Tell, tell, tell us about. You it. got walked in on? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was having weird. sex. <laughs> mm? Did you pull oh. it? Wasn't me. You keep. Pulling the, you it gotta go to, you yo, gotta go to the shaggy. It wasn't me. me while the you shaggy while she by. see you having sex. Yeah. That's insane. Uh, she was pretty mature about it. She only <laughs> threw and yelled at, threw things at me and yelled at me. And Shorty was swift. She grabbed her stuff and didn't didn't see her. She went off into the night. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Shorty was great about it. She was like, "Oh, got a text of the next oh, day. Oh, that's that. his girl. <laughs> yeah. Got to shoot a text for that. Yo, how you did that? Yo, he was a real one. Mm. <laughs> I know we could never be now, but, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate we had to end that way. Yeah. I want you to no, know was, you always have a special place. I was so place. young <laughs> with the text. She was tripping, right? <laughs> she was tripping. I'm sorry, she disrespected you. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, Yo, you seen that? <laughs> Yo, you Yo. Back. that's what I got to deal with. Now you see what I got to deal with all the time, right? <laughs> now you see what I got to deal with. <laughs> That's why I be calling you. <laughs> Men ain't shit. Man. That's oh why. That's God. why. You, that's why we're, you got a horrible, horrible species. <laughs> that's why you got to reserve the "I love you" for important times. I love you is the fire extinguisher through the glass. <laughs> <laughs> like the first time I love you. Yeah, that yeah. only work in the early stages, though. Like when you a couple years in, "I love you" does nothing. Yeah, no. 
then she start questioning. Uh, someone that would love me would never do this. And then it's like, all right, I see what you're you're saying there, but because I don't have a retort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, oh, no. I respond to that. Shit. Oh no, I do too. <laughs> What's your response? Prove it. <laughs> I love the shit out of you. I fuck a different girl every day. <laughs> you can't tell me how somebody that loves treats you when I'm the lover of you. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Prove it. <laughs> Prove I don't love you. <laughs> Show me that I don't love you. Yo, a, a dude still. I right, know. Come on, Quentin Miller, man. Wait, how did you answer the what are we question? Or wait, no, you asked it. How did she answer it? Joe didn't ask that question, man. <laughs> oh. 321 episodes, and Maul finally steps up for me. <laughs> what you mean? I know, you, I know, when, I know when you be asking. You didn't ask that, though. You're not going to ask that. He would ask that. No, he would never ask that. Never. He's a, he, Joe's crazy, but he ain't going to ask that. <laughs> I have some rap somewhere that I <laughs> prove otherwise. What are we? No. It was definitely on All Love Lost, track six, <laughs> bar 364. Yeah. I'd be thinking <laughs> I'd be thinking that we both know what we are. We're just going to never bring it up because we're ashamed. <laughs> That's interesting. It's so much better when we, we know what it is. We know what it is. <laughs> Why are you bringing it up? We It's an unspoken thing. We know what type of time it is. So just let it happen. You got to get to an age where y'all know that this, we're just fucking each other. Like that's all. But let and, me and, wait, wait, hold and, on. Let me, okay. Well, on the other side of that, and don't forget what you about to say. On the other side of that, Maul, if if we're in the getting to know each other process and building on that, For what months. what place? I, it should take a lot longer than that. You right? It should take a lot longer than nine months. So what place does what are we have in we're getting to know each other? How come women don't know that we're getting to know each other? <laughs> No, they do, but I think the what are we is... Okay, I like I, you. I I've we, decided. Now, yeah, what what do you want to do? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what it is. It's but like that's putting, the, fear, putting but cards it, on the table. Yeah, but they're at a point where they're like, we, I know you well enough. I like you enough. But that's like, not fair to men. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, not, love isn't fair. I'm wearing a dress tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to change this whole shit. <laughs> I'm Why sorry? Why wear a dress tomorrow? Because they'll respect us. No, they won't. <laughs> I promise you they won't. That will no, set us back, so, actually. That, yeah, I don't know if that's, that's a strategy. All we right. will be down by 50. We'll support you. Right, I'll rethink it. I'll rethink yes, it please. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> but no, why, why can't we fuck and like do things I also enjoy? like Fucking other women? That too. <laughs> but why can't like we do the things that I enjoy and go to the places I like while we're fucking? And why does that blur the line? No, nah, because then they want some security. Like... That'd be weird. Yo, that that's, that's, that actually makes shit. me feel like I'm treating you worse. <laughs> no, I just fuck well, you, we and not. like that's it. You should have just fucked me, and I would have been fine with it. No, I, I I like to go to this restaurant after I fuck. You're more See, than welcome to come. That's why I don't even be thrashing no more. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly why. And thrashing just comes with a headache. Yeah, that's valid. Too much thrashing. Yeah, to it comes with headache. her depending on you for shit to get thrashed. I told you. You could thrash your way into love. And, and what they only have, they think if it's not a relationship or marriage, it, it was a waste of time. And I think that's the weirdest concept on earth. No, I, we enjoyed the time, right? Yeah. How was it wasted? <laughs> like, what, what was wasted? You had a good time. I had a good time. These bitches be a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is fed up. <laughs> yeah, Joe's going through some things. He's <laughs> I know when niggas is fed up. <laughs> He's tired of answering some shit. <laughs> Oh, that's some funny shit, man. Niggas be fed up. This is the longest Joe's ever been single, though. With so the interrogation. This is not the longest the Joe's yeah, ever is. been single. Yeah, a week for sure. <laughs> and I can't come on here and say I'm single. I'm not single. Yeah, talk I'm about your, to say, talk I don't shit, even know King. if you can say that. If you allowed to say that, that's true. If you're going through the what are we, you cannot publicly say you're single. Yes, Let me I can. just tell you that. Thank what? You. Now you boys, hold up. Where's yes, I can. Where's your drop? No, no. <laughs> if you have no, to, you, if you have to question if we're together, we're not. No, but listen. If you know that you're currently being no, asked, I'm single. But you know, if you know that you're currently being asked, what are we? Thank you can't go on a public like social media, none of that shit, and just be like, Yo, I'm single. That's gonna cause a whole nother shit storm. But, in your but phone. if women do it, it's a yes, bitch response. Well, the relationship, like I saw something online that said, why is the relationship only in jeopardy whenever the woman is not happy? And that's true. That's very true. Yeah. So it's on their terms. Why can't we just gotta find a way to maneuver yeah. through their terms? Nah, you just got you have to be a man. Fuck your feelings. Oh, Get it together. Why, <laughs> why I can't come on my platform and you utilize my voice to speak to my 
audience who may be single and may be going through something over the fact that they are and are happy that for three hours in the day they're able to listen to somebody who identifies with where they are. I think what that, should that have to do with a girl somewhere? Because I think that women think that whenever we publicly say or we like announce our status, if so you say I'm single, women th- take that to mean, oh, you're welcoming the attention from other other bitches. They but always equate it to not, there's another but woman. But that's not what it means. It just means that. No, I, no, we know that that's not what it means. But I'm telling you, women interpret that as, oh, he want bitches to, to to come at him. He trying to talk to other mm-hmm. bitches. He don't want to be tied down. He I don't think wanna... it's a bad And like, I don't know if women know that women, other women don't give a fuck if niggas is in relationships or not. That's what I'm always <sighs> saying. That's my problem. To that and they don't the listen. To uh, I'm, I, I just don't. If so you even if I'm in out a relationship, it, it's not going to stop other women from trying to fuck me. Like, I'll do you one better. They may like dudes in relationships. More. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. They prefer that. So how come? You know, y'all, 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 y'all boys is potting, man. Because <laughs> how how come every time I walk out the door, door, not now, but in life, mm. every time I walk out, you walked out some doors. <laughs> no, my dumb ass be still sitting there staying, thinking we're gonna work it out. <laughs> so I was waiting for your side. <laughs> yeah, I'm home cleaning still. <laughs> but every time I walk out the door. You text me, call me, and paint me like the illest nigga in the world who can bag any girl in the universe. Mm-hmm. But the second you complain to me about a girl that I'm not fucking, mm-hmm. and I say, if I wanted to fuck her, I could, that holds no weight. Mm-hmm. And how could both of those exist? Mm-hmm. We can't figure out what? the female brain, fellas. Every single woman thinks that if she wants to fuck you, that means every chick wants to fuck you. Which is odd because women have such different and particular taste as opposed to men. Like well, most men will see a chick and we can all kind of agree that that's an attractive woman no matter what your taste is to some degree. Well, not Women anymore. have very specific tastes and they're if, different. If you're, if you're so a man, I never understood how you think that because you like me and want to fuck me, that means me- every chick that I run into wants to. Because they don't. <laughs> like at all. Yeah, but one day we'll be able to just keep it a bean with women like, no, listen, I fucked her. The pussy was wide. It was trash. I didn't want to do that again. So back to us. <laughs> I think it's a really honest and straightforward. Yeah, like if, if, if we just start telling them why we don't fuck with certain chicks. Right. Yeah. They wouldn't believe it. No, they wouldn't. Quinn Miller. <laughs> Quinn Miller recently was peeved. He was peeved. <laughs> How you peeved at a bus stop? <laughs> And this is what where's the where's the bus stop? That looks like an Atlanta bus stop to me. Man, Quentin Miller is not at no fucking bus <laughs> stop. Uh, that looked like that looked like the martyr to me. He waiting for that shit right there. Fan, that nigga got on a South Pole snorkel. How you telling me he's not at a bus stop? <laughs> <laughs> like what, what is making his headphones still got wires? His barber don't even have all the shave down cl- clipper. <laughs> Yo, y'all are stupid, man. Damn. Y'all are stupid. <laughs> Quinn Miller, Quinn Miller, who allegedly, allegedly had something to do with some of the creation of the records. On if you're reading this now, uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Speculation, rumors. No, he, I think it's credited. <laughs> Parks, he, he rumors. Didn't, he didn't feel good. He didn't feel good about the celebration of the project. He said it was one of the worst times in his life. Let's 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 listen to him. You know, a lot of people have been uh, congratulating me and sending me messages and shit about uh, the five-year anniversary of If You're Reading This and shit. <laughs> if and, you know, I look on shit. socials and I mm-hmm. see, like, producers and, you know, other people see that were involved you with the artists and they get to talk about how proud <laughs> Boy Wonder Vinyls, I see y'all. This shit, you know. And, you know, it's different for me. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty much taboo for me to even talk about it, you know. I, I pretty mm-hmm. much try to act like it don't even exist the biggest the biggest project of my entire career right and that's that's, that's pretty strange but unfortunately you know mm. i don't have the good memories about it that everybody has you know my good memories were all murdered you know what i'm saying like the day, uh meek mandela you know y'all y'all buying that bullshit since he came out of jail like he's whatever <laughs> the day he, you know, put my name out there, you know, and just blew up my whole spot. All right, you guys, react, defend it. Uh, he gotta get 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 some work done. He gotta get what? He gotta get to work. I, I feel for him to 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 a degree. 
Yeah, I understand what he's saying. It's like he took the he took the 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 rough end of that, and he now they're friends. Took the only L at this point. Yeah, now. it's like how I took the L. Like, and all I was doing was trying to chase my dreams and work with Drake. Right. But I while well, I agree with you, and I do think that he has the right to you know be sad. You also wrote for Drake, bro. Go out and get some shit popping. Like that's a crazy resume. But he's, what he's trying to say is people are not. They don't want to. I find on. that impossible to believe. Because I that. find that hard to believe too. I find it impossible. to You believe. find it hard to believe that he impossible. He to leaked believe. information that he was writing with or for Drake, and now nobody wants no, him to write for them. Impossible to believe. There's. I, I bet I you there's it, five million producers right now that will send him a bunch of shit for. Him I thought for too. the most part, when it first happened, Quentin handled it really well. He shut up and put out a, a statement that said, "We collaborated. I'm a credited writer. It's a good album." Yeah, like, like I thought he, he said, handled it well, but like he said, he still it was the worst shit ever for him. He was he still was getting crazy text messages and phone calls, and you know, got beat up. He yeah. still wrote several Drake songs, bro. You can go get work. And it's still not. No, too I believe late. you. I believe you, but I guess people don't want to. Where can Quentin Miller go get work? I'll, I'll argue this a little yeah, bit. His his well, also his own career. You still have that name, and listen, I don't know what it was like to be in that situation. But I could imagine putting out some music at that time when everyone's name or your name is in everyone's mouth. I, I like I the shit that him and uh, Hit Yo, Boy don't and, uh, about and Dom Kennedy was doing. After the that shit was right. sounding good. <laughs> huh? The shit that him, Hit Boy, and Dom Kennedy was doing, that, that music sounded good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like mean, that too. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. He could have a thing in the industry where people don't want to fuck with him. I'm not going to say that's impossible. I've never heard that. I'm not in Atlanta music scene, but Though, still, I, I I could see his point of view when Meek and Drake are best friends now. I got beat up over it. <laughs> y'all, I get are, it. y'all are besties. What the fuck, man? I get it. And none of y'all won't answer my text messages. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all like the game together. I get it. But they weren't your friends. No, wow. I'm not saying that to begin with. But he's saying now, like, they won't even talk to him. They don't want to work with him. Why should Drake and Meek be texting Quentin Miller today? They shouldn't. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they should be texting, but he's probably reached out and there's no communication at all. So you go from yeah, working with left. you go from working with niggas on music to now there's no communication between y'all. And right. y'all made some good records together. That's the music business, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah but, I mean... And you, you was a, a hired writer. I don't really owe you much, but the fee... Of of the session that I had you in, I don't know. Quinn Miller had a tough man with the whole accident, losing his leg. Well, yeah, yeah. it's a separate, yeah. separate combo on on that. No, yeah, that's something totally different. But uh, again, and uh, another reason why I really can't he, he he could put out you could put out music whenever you want now. Exactly. Like he can put out a little EP. You got enough of a name that people are going to click it. And yeah. Listen, you're going to generate. You probably still got income coming in from the Drake records. Fam, I don't know what y'all talking about. He could do whatever he want. It ain't going to sound like this. <laughs> Here's the thing. Yeah, y'all act like he Here's got one of these, and, and the, I don't want to hate on something. Quentin Miller. Me but, neither. But with the references, he didn't sound like this on this shit. Yeah, yeah that's that's like, what I'm saying. Say what you will about Drake and writing, but man, did he fucking deliver OMG. after I heard those references? <laughs> Nigga said, "OMG, yo, Drake is the greatest." <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! The hell is this a clean version? You got the clean. <laughs> no, we can't do nothing got, clean. Got that from Clue? We can't do nothing clean. <laughs> if it ain't got the E next to it, I don't want it. Yeah. What the fuck with that? I need all my lyrics explicit. Right. All right. Well, I, listen, I do. I feel for Quentin Miller. Me too. I do feel for him. The whole cop and please to the labels at the end of the video saying, help me, help me, reach out, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. That didn't sound like somebody that was confident in their ability Ability, to yeah. just go in on their own and get it done. Or their beard. That beard is ass. Yeah, because I mean, once you have a relationship with Hit Boy, you can get music. Once you have a credit, like a, it's not just like he did some bullshit on right. a Drake record. He wrote records. several Drake records that were successful, <laughs> really good records. records. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely get some. Sh- there is some producer that will work with you. And, and on top of that, whatever that rumor was <clears throat> that Meek was trying to get him too to help write hooks, like people know your name. Yeah, within that writing circle. Yeah. And on top of that, fam, you, you have the name, put out some music. And I know he has put out music. Whether that hit or not is is on him. Not, yeah. not not on the labels. When you got a pen like his, he he should be all right. Right. He should be okay. I you mean, got a pen and a resume. Yeah. Get to work. 
There's mad people with. There's mad people with pens. That's not all right, though. Not, but not hit making pens, though. Nah, there's people with hit making pens that can't get sure. their solo shit off. And I'm not. I'm not just gonna jump, and I could be wrong in this, but I ain't just gonna jump to say you got a hit maker pen when you gave Drake a hit. <laughs> like I, I need, I'm, I'm I need to you. see another hit. Yeah, 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 I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you. I need to see, but Drake, okay. I'm not really going with. You, you have the hit maker a- pen, especially oh. with those references. Like if you listen to Quentin's reference, it was not a hit. The way Drake delivered that record made it a hit. <laughs> well, that's what I always say about when artists have writers. I'm like, cool, but if, can they deliver? Like, you still have to be able to deliver that record. Somebody could write it for you, but if you can't deliver or perform that record, like, it's not going to matter. It's true. Listen, I wish Quentin Miller all the best. So do I. Uh, Talented kid. Well, get get it. Talented man. I know a lot of people get mad when we use the word kid because that's just how we refer to it. (laughs) But talented man, I don't mean you're a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Go get it it popping. Go, go nah, get that ass, Parks. yo. Yeah, go get it popping. Yeah, go get it popping. Listen to damn. Puffy Parks, man. Yo, yeah, go, yeah. Yo, get your shit popping, man. Go get two million streams, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then I might sell your shit back. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, okay. you, can't, you can't sit and complain. Get your weight up, not your hate up. Do shit. <laughs> Bum boy. Get your sit weight up, not like, your hate up. If you sit around and wait, I hate you. If you sit around and wait for the labels to come through for you. Oh, no. Nah. You got to be a long, it's going to be a long day. No, I agree. No, the days are long. <laughs> the days are long for Quentin. Which is fucked up, man. Quentin was kind of cool when we went bowling at South by Southwest, at whatever, wherever that was, that venue. He was pretty cool. Like, I feel bad to see him in this position, honestly. Seems like Especially a nice, nice if guy. it was at no fault of his own. Like, like I don't know the story originally, mm-hmm. but if he wasn't the one to leak information about the project, right. and he really just was a casualty of... He was a casualty of war. Uh, Meek and Drake with drama leaking. So whoever leaked some shit. If it wasn't Quentin, like, then damn. Because mm-hmm. he said that it, in the clip. He said, he said in the video, he said that one tweet from Meek just changed my whole life. And I think your life, Quentin, is more valuable than even maybe you are wording it. Because, nah. Like, the tweet don't have that much power over you if your pen is like you think your pen is. Right. Like, you don't have to just succumb to what happened from this project. It's been five yeah. years. You don't have to buy it's been into five years. You don't have to buy into the noise that may be in your mentions. Yeah. Block out the noise. <laughs> <laughs> Block yeah. out the noise. Get it popping. <laughs> I'm with you, Parks. Seriously, go find some. There's mad producers in the list. Yeah. He'll be all right. There's, I, fuck, think, I think he'll be There's good. probably 200 writing sessions in New York. And he, right run, now. he running that. And this is New York. Like, Atlanta, Atlanta Circle. Like 500 those producers. writing sessions right now. He'll be all right. We are, this is a tough crowd here, man. He'd be all right. I think he will. I think he'd be all right. I forgot. I think it was you that was talking to you know, someone online or something about if if you are faint at heart. Maybe it was at a live show talking to a, 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 a question from the crowd. If you're faint at heart, this might not be the business for you. Mm-hmm. Like if you just fold when you get some bad criticisms or tough times get tough, the music business is gonna be very tough. It's not the business for you. If that's no, true. it's a at all. Y'all still very feel the same way about it though. I think the music business is is a lot different now. It is. Because you can, like I said, you can put music out whenever you want now. Like, you can can reach people in multiple ways now. Yeah, but that doesn't change how it treats you. That's far. What do you mean treat you, though? It doesn't change artistic... uh, um, Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What's the word I'm looking for? Lack of confidence. Oh, if you don't have any confidence, then that, that's no, it. Some art, like it's easy as an artist, a creator of any type, to be uh, question, question yourself as mm-hmm. far yeah. as like and what you're creating. As as easier as it's become to put music out. On the flip side of that, it's easier now to comment on people's art. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you can't, you're, you're now like people can put out a disc, put it in a CD store, and go live their life, and they may see a few people in the street, but people never really say shit to your face. They always just say it online, but. Yeah, now you put something online, you can go directly to the link that you sent out on Twitter and see every comment that came from your art that you put out. That's true. So yeah, it's not really for the faint art. Yeah, if you don't have no confidence, then no. Uh, I wouldn't advise you to try to get in the music business. No. It's not for you. It's a very rough, rough, rough business. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Uh, A Boogie put out an album. Oh, music. A Boogie. Music, 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 music. 
I hear you, Boogies. How's it? You know Rory heard it. <laughs> Did I? He got a good dog on there. I listened to it once. It sounds good, though. Turn down some. Y- y'all, s- y'all still pull panties to the side. Nah. Yeah. The thong. Yeah. Days is days is over for me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Same. Yeah. Me too. I got a little extra time now. That's thrasher shit. Come on, more. That is thrasher. Tell shit. the truth. The man. thong to the side is when you crash. Come clean. Yeah, on up. On up. To, on you up to something, when you man. Pull the thong thrash, to the side. That's, that means you thrashing. Yeah. 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 That's the, that that's means, the first stage of the thrash. Hell yeah. yeah. That means you're looking for the thrash. Yeah. I thought that. And was don't quick. don't break that's the. the if she got the 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 little thin thong shit on that <laughs> that was like three dollars, rip that shit right off. Now you really thrashing. You've done that before. Of course I have. I've done that before too. I've always done that with his teeth. You know, Facts. Irish, Irish. Oh, great! Irish 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 different, man. <laughs> Facts. Great. Now, now y'all tell. Now tell me about the time y'all pulled her panties down with your teeth. I've never done that. It's absolutely, I've done, done that. that for sure. <laughs> you know, I've never pulled panties. I accept down. that from you, Mo. No, I've never done that. And I believe you. Yeah, no, not with my mouth. No. I've ripped rip panties off of my hands, not with my teeth. No, I'm not doing that. You should you should try it tonight. <laughs> rip panties off with your teeth? Yeah. No, man. But no, not rip. Just pull them down. Bro, how do you pull panties down with your teeth? Like this. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, <I wish> <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? Pull panties down with your teeth. It's Parks. What's <laughs> <laughs> You'll be there all night trying to pull those hip panties off. No, no it's, that's it's, not true. It's easy. And when she participates, it's super and, like, easy. Helps you out with it. It's super easy. Then she be thinking you about to thrash because you did something. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna bring a blow up doll in here, and put panties on it. I want to see y'all pull it. It would be harder off blow up dolls, rubber. Yeah, and she, uh, her rubber. hands ain't gonna help. Oh, so she's helping you? I thought you well, meant you was doing it. Well, if yeah. I have a hard time, K turning around the knees. <laughs> No, he's right. He's right. She gets tricky. Sometimes you might have to do a little. <laughs> no. you, ever, uh... you might have to get down and knees. Bitch got stocky knees. <laughs> Those be the ones though. Stocky oh, knees. Yeah. yeah. You ever bodied the foreplay and nutted right away? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. Like, like Mark, you built up some wild Mark, shit, stop got her really play. ready, and then just nutted. You should stop doing full play. <laughs> Every no, that's time. The, that's, the, that's the point hey, of that, that's, play. That's, you said every time. That's, 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 too. Yeah. Parks, that's when I stopped four Parks, play. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because I asked that question to feel a little better about myself. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> a little anxious. No, you. No, no, no. Just, you, you, the point of the foreplay is to get the job done with quicker. It should okay. be. But sometimes you do the foreplay just to get her there to fuck, and she's all ready to fuck. Oh. And then, mm-hmm. <laughs> then you, it's over. And you ready, ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ass ready. My foreplay is quick. <laughs> this nigga's such a pirate. <laughs> what year are you living in? You should have been in that room with Russ. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you nasty no, fuck. Oh no! 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 That <laughs> nigga licked his whole palm. <laughs> oh, that's filthy. You might be Duke. <laughs> Joe was definitely Duke. <laughs> that's funny. All right, come on. What was story? Hey, Boogie. Boogie. Uh, yeah. Really, really like this album. Boogie got in his good. uh. It's a wild tension. Rory is great. <laughs> I can't even tease him no more because now I love a boogie too. A boogie stuff. Yeah, no, awesome. but I'll say this: this type of boogie is my. When he gets in his R and B, like, <laughs> how could you leave me when I was fucking all these bitches? You're mad, selfish. This, I was gonna come back, bag. This, like, this is your type of boogie. <laughs> yeah. This is your type I boogie, boogie to this. <laughs> that was a funny <laughs> phrase. This this is my, my type, type of boogie. boogie. It is. It's my type of boogie, man. Um. <laughs> The first half I was into, the second half I didn't finish listening to it, but it sounded like he was about to go on a fantastic voyage without me. <laughs> you wasn't, wasn't going to join him? No. <laughs> Why not? No, nah, because he was getting into his, I'm a, I'm a big artist, let me give him my radio commercial <laughs> shit, and I'm, that's not what I do. Yeah. But he always smoke an intro. <laughs> oh, Whatever yeah, yeah, the yeah. first song is. <laughs> he stay with the intro. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, all right, so but I- But no, I, that, that Hit Him Up record's really good. He, me and my guitars. When he gets in his sad bag, I really fuck with A Boogie. Yeah, he's good. I like bag. sad A Boogie. Yeah. Jesus. 
<laughs> the noise is dead. My body will miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's loud too. Like yeah, I know. It's I know. cool, man. Um. What do y'all think about A Boogie saying everybody sounds like him? Oh, uh, niggas is stealing my style, and then having to talk with some OGs, and then coming back and saying, "Nah, I was out of pocket. I was I was wrong in that. Everybody sounds like everybody at, in hip hop at some point." And that was a real mature response that he gave. Yeah, yeah, mature. Yeah, thought that was great. I understood what he was trying to say when he said what he said, but um, yeah, I understood the frustration of saying that. Yeah, but um, you think everyone sounds like A Boogie? I think when he said that, he more so meant. The singing, rapping thing from the I younger mean, artists. I could say a lot of Boogie's melodies are Drake <clears throat> melodies. <laughs> Days Love. Days Love too. Yeah. It's so it's like they I mean, again, you take you take inspiration and shit from we other all sounds sh- that's out here. We all share yeah. shit. Yeah. At yeah. some level. That's the, he he just does it that's well. That's that's the I don't purpose. mind, I don't yeah. mind yeah. that everyone sounded like I'm just gonna pick the artist that sounds the best. On that type of, of shit, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I think yeah. Boogie is the one that sounds one of the, the best in that genre. Yeah, he would probably be my. Mm, let me think. Boogie's high up there. Who else? Maybe would you say one. is in that genre, like Lil Baby. Probably Baby's in there. Roddy Rich is so Roddy Rich. Yeah. Like I think him yeah. and Roddy Rich to me are two of the best doing that right now. Uh, Kodak is in there. To some, to okay. some, he raps a little bit more. Yeah, but he's still in that pocket to me. Okay, that's the real bad on following. I don't want to bring it up now because y'all on a, on a music talk, but. I've I've gone down this rabbit hole of Roddy mm-hmm. trying to figure out. I'm well, not trying to figure out, but it's intriguing to me his run and okay. his and his climb. And the Billboard put out an article that was talking about YouTube success, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did anybody catch that article? I, I, it, I read it. Yeah. When him and Leor were face to face. In the picture, uh, I saw pictures from that, but I didn't see the. I didn't read the article. Yeah, I read the article. Yeah, so then I got then that just got me to thinking about, um, you know how I feel about some of the execs, Leo Cohen being one of them. They 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 could be fuckity fuckheads, but they've done a lot in music. Uh, I do believe that uh, Iveen going to Apple did something over yeah. there. Oh, Same. Well, I mean, without question. Yeah, they yeah. did, did a lot. <laughs> what, what? Come, can't even say he didn't. But yeah. what I'm saying is this 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 stuff that we're talking about is not shit that fans ever think about or fans are privy to. They don't really give a fuck. They want to hear the music. Right. But I pay attention to Ivy and going to Apple, what he did over there. Leo going to YouTube now and what he's doing over there and how that is tied to the success of some of these artists, Roddy being one of them. And then furthering that, I furthered the thought with Billboard's acceptance of YouTube or the label's acceptance of YouTube <laughs> now as a major player. Right. And mm-hmm. the power that that gives Leor to do whatever it is he's doing behind the scenes. Well, they're adding it to Billboard, didn't we? I think Maybe that, like a yeah. month ago we, we reported on that, yeah. of, of that being added to the actual Billboard stats YouTube views. Yes. Yeah. So but YouTube has like a music stream. They, have they, YouTube do, they, music. Do, they do, yeah. they do, yeah. It's a legitimate thing. Yeah, um... And that led me to how this fight is going to look between, pardon me, between the labels, the streamers, and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Because the article was saying how, the article was saying how, and I'm not going to read this because the important part here was that YouTube, because of whatever law it is, I'm not going to find the name of it, but there's a law that excludes YouTube from all those copyright laws mm. that plague Spotify. Mm. Uh, Screen Man's actually highlighting. Go down two oh. more lines, Screen Man. You're no, that's, at the right that's place. the one, no. yeah, The, the right origin place. of the hostility lies in the safe harbor embedded in the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in the United States that protects YouTube from legal liability for infringing content that users upload as long as it responds promptly to a takedown notice. That means rights holders have essentially fa- uh, faced a choice between licensing their content or having it appear on the service anyhow and depending on YouTube's content ID program to flag what's unauthorized and sending takedown notices about the rest. As a result, YouTube has always had more leverage in negotiations than services like Spotify and Apple Music to the point that some rights holders felt the company made them offers they couldn't refuse. Now that line... I would love to hear what some of those offers just sounded like. Yeah. 
because it sounds like YouTube had the labels against the same ropes that the labels had Spotify under. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's just the rabbit hole I went down when I was on Roddy Rich. And that's all. I would love to see how it plays out. I know fans and consumers don't give a fuck about shit like this, but it's major shit happening. I don't know if the last podcast I say anything about the $75 million that Sirius is investing into mm-hmm. SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. But it's just major shit. Uh, Warner Music went public. Yeah. <laughs> see? <laughs> Can we no, pull, I, can we I'd pull like that to, up? I would love to figure out how that works. How what works? Going public? To go public with a music <clears throat> company. What do you mean? Same way anything else is public. Yeah, yeah but to what degree do They invest investors... money and they get a uh, uh, share of the dividends. I guess I'm just looking at it differently because it's music. They're not owning... Of course they're not. They don't copyrights. have points on anything on no. there. But... You just invest money and you get money back. It's still a little odd. Does uh, that all right, so it's does different. that so does that change I don't know if that's I don't know if they're the only publicly traded Yeah, I don't know that either. I don't um, I would bet that they're not. I bet Universal is publicly traded. I, could be I, I would be a little I would be a little curious if Universal Music Group says they'll go public by two thousand twenty three. Oh, okay. That's what the article said. I don't know if it's accurate. We didn't click on it. Yeah. So obviously advances and budget and recording budgets typically go off what we think you'll move, but to some degree, if I'm an artist looking at my budget and you have all this other revenue being invested, I may have some questions. That's all. I don't really have a, a huge theory here, more just questions on how that works within a music company and an artist sitting there going, all right, great. So I can't get another 100, 100 grand on my marketing because why? Yeah, ask, because, <laughs> ask the stockholders. Because we locked you in. Yeah. And... We weren't locked in, and now <laughs> our stock is booming because yep. mad people are investing in all of this shit that we have because we've gone public. So on on top of that, <laughs> now I'm an artist. Say I'm. No, you let's let's use man. let's use Ed Sheeran because we all know I, that's my Red. Guy. If I'm Sharon, if uh if I'm at Warner and the IPO is going crazy, and I'm probably one of the bigger invested artists in this company. I'm going to feel a way about all this investment money coming in or at least want to know about it. And yeah. Now, what will you do with your feelings, artists with no power? That's my point there. Well, I'd be more curious, too, if someone will buy a majority of those stocks themselves and have a majority stake in Warner Brothers. So here's the thing. I'm sure artists are not allowed to do that. When I was at Sony and, that's, and Spotify went public, they sent out a company company wide email that said you cannot buy any stock in Spotify that's considered insider trading. Ah, uh, I guess that makes sense for yeah. If you're an artist, yeah. But an artist from a different label may be able to. Yeah, <laughs> or just someone sure. that just doesn't sound like a good idea all around the board. Like yeah, it sounds like that and, shit can get crazy really quick. And I think eight or nine months ago, when the reports. There were just reports about Warner thinking about going public. Um, I thought I remember hearing whispers about maybe them deciding to actually put some of the money to the side to divvy up to the artists. I don't know if that was Warner Universe. No, I think that was about um, I their, their it, ownership there... stake in Spotify or maybe one That's of what the that other. Was. You're yeah, right. And they were right. figuring out how to divvy that. Because Spotify bought their shit back from that there's something like so, that uh, yeah so the, so the labels had bought percentages of Spotify at the time they yeah. bought it back so they could go public but that's why it was also insider training as a Sony employee for me buying Spotify stock at that time got it but I can't see them divvying up any money and giving it to the artists because now they're responsible for that investor money yeah so I, I can't see that happening wait I was just reading something <laughs> That said, uh, the insp- inspiration behind this move is not far, uh, it's not hard to deduce. Can you find that again? Uh, but yeah, we were talking about music. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, but while people are focused on the music and the artists and the new releases, like this is the type of shit I'd be worried about. The no, inspiration this is for the, this move this is, is not hard to deduce. Shit. Yeah. Um, Universal Music Group, the world's <laughs> largest music company, recently was valued at $33 billion dollars. As part of its agreement to sell 10% of itself to a con- con- consortium consortium. Cons- consortium led by Chinese tech giant Tencent. 
Oh, that was the end. Uh, part of an agreement to sell 10, 10% of itself to a consortium led by Chinese giant tech. In August of 2017, Goldman Sachs valued UMG <laughs> at $23.5 billion, hmm. roughly three times what it was worth in 2013. With values of music companies skyrocketing at, at that rate over the past six odd years, uh, Blavonovic, Blavonovic <laughs> has apparently decided the time is ripe to go public. Morgan Stanley, Credit Suits, and Goldman Sachs and Co. LLC are acting as joint booking uh, book running managers for the offering. I apologize for this hard reading. The lights in my yeah. eyes just not good right now. Uh, um, well, with that said, I don't know if you saw the article about UMG in 2019 did 7.7 7 billion. I want to find the exact percentage of what that was up from 2018. Yeah, IPO plan. Uh, eleven point six percent up from the year before. <coughs> That's kind of nuts. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're making a lot of money off the of streaming shit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was um one thing me and um Hot was talking about the other day. He was saying how with the streaming shit, he was saying like he walking some stores now and like vinyls from Reasonable Doubt, like in the stores they'll sell the vinyls for a hundred dollars. Yeah. And like he was like, but Jay don't see none of that. Like, cause once you buy that vinyl, yeah. whatever you paid for when it yeah, first yeah. came out, that's it. Uh-huh. And he was saying how now he's receiving publishing checks from Big Pimp, and he was like, "I know niggas ain't going and physically buying Big Pimp and it's streaming." Right. So he was like, "That's where the streaming is a good thing because now records that was like years old, so you people are streaming it." But Big Pimpin' is such it that it's such a streaming record, no mm-hmm. doubt. Like if streaming was out when Big Pimpin' was out, yeah. But that right. is a valid point. Is that like in the past? Big Pimp is probably not the best example because you could probably always find that in a CD store. But there are probably a lot of records that get a lot of streams now that for a long time you couldn't find. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like because they had to get to find the physical fucking CD, and mm-hmm. Coconuts was not going to have it. Right, and and you know to some degree you're kind of rebuying it. Like because I bought Volume Three, oh, yeah. but now I subscribe to streaming, so I'm I'm kind of rebuying Volume Three when I listen to it because yeah. mm-hmm. I bought reason, it already. I'm reasonable down on cassette, vinyl, CD, and I stream it still. Yeah. <laughs> like. In a digital level. I mean, streaming well, is my definitely changes through. the game in, in, in music, but there could be a negative to it as well. I don't think art, because we still don't know what a stream is worth. True. So it's, like, it's a lot of positive and a lot of negative, but most of the positive as of now, till we work through it, is with the labels. I think it's the a lot labels of positive. Are, the labels are crushing right now. I think it's a lot it. of positive and a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's negative. Well, it's just, it, what, where is this all it, going? It, it makes you even more inclined to own your publishing at this point now because back catalog is more important than it's ever been. People because are insane it, it's, for it's, selling their publishing. It's <laughs> constantly, it's constantly being rebought to some degree with your back catalog. Like it wasn't as valuable before because people owned your CD already. Right. So did, owning did your publishing and back catalog sold. is really important. So, <coughs> what did he sell his publishing for? It was called. Mm, I forgot what it was. It wasn't that high of a number, though. I read something. Dreams Publishing is worth. It was. It's worth a lot, but I forgot. It was a thing we talked about in this podcast. Yeah, I'm just. Trying, it was not. The number revisit. wasn't crazy. Between though. his music yeah. and his we writing, might need to revisit that though. It wasn't crazy. It we wasn't might need crazy. to revisit no. that. It wasn't crazy no, at all. all these, that's why we we talked about this briefly in one of the last podcasts. That that company that auctions off people's pub. The people that are doing that are out of their mind because like. Twenty three. Twenty three million. There's seventy five percent for twenty three million. Okay. There's so many more ways to make money, and there's so many more Look, that ways. That's wrong there. No. There's so many more ways that people are monetizing <clears throat> music now. All the content, like that shit, YouTube videos, they have to pay that. Not everybody does, but you have to. Uh, ESPN uses all types you, of music. YouTube now. Like, videos are uh, smoke and mirrors, like the music is put on the streaming services. Hmm. And that's where this gets interesting. And I'm not going to say too much because I don't know what I can say. But if we had to guess what goes on in the next five years in the music business, I read something that said um, it's that time again uh, between Spotify and the labels for them for the contract to be amended or some shit mm-hmm. or if the labels decide they want to pull out and walk away. But the labels would never... We always were always under the impression out. that the labels would never do that because... This robbery without a gun. <laughs> we yeah. we getting too much money from y'all. There's no reason to pull our shit from y'all. Y'all think of a solution, which is where podcasting becomes important in this conversation. Yeah. And which is why YouTube and whatever they're doing with Lior 
and all of his industry friends that run all of the labels, what they are doing. Because if YouTube builds itself up <laughs> to industry standard and what they're trying to do in music, it's going to be a tough one to fight. <clears throat> and now I'll move on. You do with that what you will. Yeah. yeah. And to selling your publishing, I know generational wealth has been like the buzzwords as of late. Uh, you're selling your, your generational wealth. Like, yes. <laughs> you're, you're giving away and we're seeing how you can retain constant income with streaming. Why are you sell it, selling your publishing? Yeah. You're selling away what your kids and grandkids could have. And get constant go to the mailbox money. It even bugs me out more too when it's people from the sampling era that know what they paid in samples. Yeah, selling their songs like you're, you're you well know aware. that people you know that sampling exists and you know that you have to pay for sampling. You're well aware that your publishing was diluted because of it. You know that people are still sampling. <laughs> like that, yeah. Uh, uh, Just, in, I, I talk about in my feelings when we, this conversation comes up. You guy wasn't even on the song. And he is getting a check from In My Feelings, which yeah. is a number one song. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever sell your publishing. <laughs> in the in the dream of all people, yeah, his catalog is going to be sampled for the next 50 years. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Whatever, man. New music, you were saying? Uh, Biebs. Biebs came out. Biebs, cool. Biebs in the Trap. You listened to it? I gave it the, the quickest one over on the way here. Um, it was what I thought it was going to be. Now let's unpack everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Any racial Here's slurs being down. thrown around on there? No, he did not harmonize the N-word. Uh -huh. um, no, it's, it's, it's poppy R&B. It's, it's what you thought. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's not bad. It's Bieber yeah. with a lot of money. Like It's not going to be bad. No doubt. Um, but that's my take from the first. All right, let me hit skip so I can try to get through. And it's a bunch of purchase songs with yeah. barely any crooning on it. <laughs> okay. Poppy R&B With a lot of money Okay Sounds about right Yep That's our Bieber review <laughs> <laughs> Um Let me see What, what else, else came out What else came out What else came out da -da 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 Oh That uh Boldy James It didn't come out to Last week Last week, last week. Yeah. But last week, Boldy I James gave that shit out. That is a great album it, It's a really good album Yeah I've listened to that for A shit good is, week is, in the is, gym It's really really good Shout out to Al Yeah and shout out to Alchemist they bodied that. Uh, even, even my guy Vince decided he wanted to rap you know still. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a really, really, really good project. For sure. Where's Boldy James from? Detroit. Detroit. Oh, I could stand behind this. <laughs> 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 no, he's fast. He talking that shit. No, 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 no. no he's no, fast. No, 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 no. Album is really, really, I, I, really good. I, I cannot wait to finish listening to this album. Mm. Yeah. I see. I missed that. I haven't had that since. Um, I hate to say the name every podcast, but uh, Griselda, where you wasn't looking for something, and then you found it and was like, oh. So yeah. So, <laughs> so oh shit. Wait, this exists. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where's this Alchemist person from? Alchemist did every beat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Alchemist needs his own. Production house or label or I just want crew. I just want uh, Alchemist. Yeah, I say he yeah. kind of sort of does. I think yeah. he does. I want Alchemist to do a seven, five to seven track EP with Fifty, and oh, I don't want Fifty to to chase a single single. So I want well, them to just do some dirty, grimy five records. This has nothing to do with your financial state. Like I just need Al and Fifty to get together. I would love that. I like how Al does uh, off the beaten path. Stuff though, I, yeah. respect, I respect that. About oh yeah, him a yeah lot. No, that's amazing. I've seen a Me lot of too. people echo those kind of same sentiments. I want to hear Ross now, and I would like to hear that shit too. But I also like that he brings us Boldy James and uh, 
Mm. All the random people that he's Hell made yeah. records with over the years. And I, I'll, I'll go out on a limb here. This is one of my uh, favorite uh, artworks. He's always got fire artwork. I was going to say that. And uh, I love the title. I kind of yeah. miss when album titles were beautiful. fire. Yeah. <laughs> the Price of Tea in China. China. Like, that's just a, a amazing album title. Yeah. Look at this cover. Especially for that type of rapper in this type of climate, like mm. music. Yeah. It's fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Who else came out? Tink came out. Tink did come out. I Tink didn't put an album out. On, I listened to list. it. I listened to it. I listened to it. It's cool. It's cool. I'm happy. Good. I'm happy for her because it took her a while to get up out of that situation she was in. Uh, this album is on Empire. I think it's her second one since leaving uh, Tim. Yeah, it's, a, it's her, maybe even third if you count EPs. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm not counting EPs. And if she put out an album before this, I don't have it and didn't hear it. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm a Tink fan, so. But yeah, no, this this is cool. But this is uh, this is this is, I can't take this vibe for an entire album. Okay, I mean it's on my That's list to listen this weekend. That's what? what it is. Yeah, uh, but it's good, and I'm super happy for her. Uh, shout out to Tink. Uh, did you guys listen to the YG single? No, no, I didn't either. On my list. <laughs> play a little bit right now. Tuesday, I got you. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's play. Let's give him a little dose. Did you hear the <laughs> listen snow in uh, Pharrell record? I didn't, I didn't listen to that either. Oh, did it come out? I will. Yeah, the remix. Fam. All right, we're going to. All you right. You don't like it? I don't want to say that because Snow is my wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it yet. I love but. her. Mm-hmm. So, and I understand it from her, from her point why she would do this. Nobody's saying no to Pharrell. Mm-hmm. Of course. This not. was very unnecessary from Pharrell. Uh, it, it was a rap verse. Oh, okay. Like, he rapped. Gotcha. Okay. And not saying it was bad. Oh, so he didn't, do the, he didn't produce it? Whoa. No, it's the same beat. Oh, it's the same beat. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's the same, same oh. beat. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I thought he was remixing yeah, that's what the was actual too. song. It's, Whoa. Yeah, no, it's, this is only a verse from him. Let me oh, gotcha, cool. okay. It says produced, but, well, yeah, he got production credit on it. Oh, well, then maybe, did he produce well, maybe Whoa? he did <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> maybe oh, yeah, he maybe it. Yeah, maybe he produced it. <laughs> okay. Well, that I, I, didn't, I didn't need a rap verse from Pharrell on Whoa. Yeah. All right. We want some real-time <laughs> YG. Who is this? YG. YG and Kalani. YG, YG and Kodak? Kalani. Oh. His his girlfriend. $33.99. What's his uh <laughs> what's his block name that he do everything with? Come Yeah, this is this is the four hundred. <laughs> Yo, can we cut this off? That's something you gotta hear out, I feel like. If I fuck on a bitch, is you gonna fuck on dude? Is we gonna play monkey see, monkey do? Yeah. If I if I fuck a chick, are you gonna revenge fuck a guy? I know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I feel him because it's it's valid, but great question. I don't wanna hear monkey see monkey doing a rap. <laughs> That's one from two a bl- from a blood. Why 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 yeah? Why G is 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 gang gang gang? When these niggas go fall in love, I'm shutting up, man. They don't do nothing but get me in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to hear in love. Like this is like super in love, YG, Ooh. which I'm happy for him, but yeah. And that's fucked up because this beat sound hard and he talking I like that shit. I just lot. don't want to. I don't I know. Play, play you, a little bit more. He said, "I love how you keep that thing waxed." <laughs> <laughs> Hood niggas like the little things. That's, but wait, but, but YG, 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 but that YG, YG, my G, YG. That's, that's, <laughs> Yo, my G, YG. We that, can't that's, be asking that's, that. That's part of the past, YG. Yeah, that's part of the past. <laughs> Nigga, every dude she send news to. Let me hear what Kalani give him on this hook. I like it. I do. I like it. It's it's a single. I probably won't go back to it, but 
It's a single. I get it. Yeah, it's gotta allow people to try to switch shit up here. And I there. like that beat a lot. Who produced that? Me. Oh, you killed that, bro. Joe Wonder. <laughs> Joe Wonder. <laughs> jo- Joe Maker. <laughs> Joe, Joe Maker. Speaking speaking of, if yeah, y'all, you y'all sell y'all, coffee pots, have y'all heard um, have y'all heard um, Dream Doll record? No. Who do you no, love? I haven't. I haven't. Produced by Berg, of course. <laughs> all right. I like I like what Dream Doll doing. That's all. I. Listen, when she was in the Tory Lanez beef, I had no idea she could rap like that. So I'm on board. She smoked Tory Lanez. She made me buy a Vado record because she was on it. It sounded good. And then, oh wait, the Jeezy? No, I did see this. Yeah, because Jeezy G Easy is having probably one of the better two weeks of any man <laughs> I've seen in quite some time. You never you never noticed that wherever there's a hit around, G Easy is there. Yeah. And whenever there's a cute black girl around, <clears throat> are you hating? Nah, I'm, I fuck with Jeezy. Go stand here. No, I <laughs> yeah, I fuck. We well, can't him. really say he was fucking done with uh Halsey. <laughs> He's moved on, I think. Yeah, we're, we we are not our past. He's in the projects now. Too. <laughs> Look at Meg. He's in the projects with the Dream Doll. Fam, he's having a week. Like, put some respect on Jeezy name. Yo, he loved that side kiss. Yeah, <laughs> strong move. He can't mess up his strong hair. Move. <laughs> He don't give a fuck about personal space. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes Nex. He don't care about don't care. personal. He fucks with Nex. I feel it. Look at Jeezy killing Wait, Joe the, with the fur too. Yeah, but the crazy part about this man, I, when Dream Doll did the record with Vado, I thought it was a trade. Man, she ain't calling Vado up for the single now. <laughs> Look at Jeezy killing Joe and Soho, and the projects. Get you a man that could do both, Joe. <laughs> That's oh, sick. look at Dream Doll. <laughs> That's sick to tell another man. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Get you a man that can do both. <laughs> it's Jeezy. Oh, Projects like, and Soho. I think that's my grandma building. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, Jeezy. That's a diss, yeah. That's the old folks home, nigga. That ain't the projects. <laughs> no, you know like those stuff. buildings that kind of look like the projects. That's 135th. I know that what that like is. That look like St. Nicholas Projects. If I'm not so. mistaken. I don't think so. Well, it I mean, does have the St. Nick windows. The, the guys in front don't look like the guys from St. Nick. Oh, no, those, <laughs> no, 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 those guys are not out there. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Congratulations, g Easy, yeah. uh, Dream Doll, and Berg, I guess. Yeah. And Rocky. Always shout out to Berg. And Rocky. Look at Rocky with a look. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who g Easy going to get next. <laughs> 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 who he gonna get? Yeah, you're sick. <laughs> who he gonna kiss on the cheek next? Yeah, man. You gotta watch out. He out here, out here. For real. He moving around. Taking our queens. And Dream Doll. Dream Doll got new titties? <laughs> Dream Doll look good. Dream Doll got some new titties. She got some new titties. <laughs> <laughs> look what Joby noticing. <laughs> she got some new titties? Oh, yeah, you didn't notice? They look like those two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, why wasn't you looking? You know this too, nigga. Don't throw me under the bus. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I don't see uh, Dream Doll like that. Like I don't follow her. I never, I never did either. Well, yeah. I never looked at her like that. That's why I know. No, her. like I don't even see her. Like she, I don't see her online. I don't, I don't know until like a video or something comes out. I don't really know what she looks like. No, she's a cute girl. I felt like there was a few things. Wait, you didn't give them the pass to I'm, to shoot in Saint Nick? Nah, fam. Okay. I felt like there was a few things you needed to come in here and answer for about Cash Doll. Like what? Uh, <laughs> I think she posted a picture of some Chinamen and said, keep the coronavirus away from me. <laughs> it's not the preferred nomenclature, Joe. The preferred nomenclature? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, You Parks. guys aren't Lebowski fans. <laughs> not Lebowski fans in the house. Nomenclature. It's cool. But <laughs> well, what is the nomenclature? Um, a Chinese uh, American or Chinese Chinese person. Ch- All right, Quentin you Miller. You gotta watch Pickle Chinese Blanket. person. <laughs> nah, we gotta we gotta talk about future. <laughs> Lord, oh yeah, so Lord, future man. Lori got my guy going crazy. She dumped him already. <laughs> got him making this shit. Timeline hated this. I loved it. <laughs> Can't come over. You won't let her leave. 
<laughs> she trying to go to Chicago right now. No, she's in Chicago. Oh, she's right in now. Chicago, buddy. <laughs> Yo, my dad called. Got to show up for this host thing. Family Feud. Isn't the Steve Harvey show in Chicago too? Yeah, yeah. Family Feud, NBA All Star Edition. Family Feud. I'm gonna have to uh, go with the timeline on this one, Roy. I'm sorry. Listen, man. These leaks happen and they're unfinished records. That's true. And, we, and then we judge them as real records. You're right. It's not fair. That's not fair. You're right. I do like most of the records that Future sings on, I'll be honest. Me too. I, I kinda only like when I, Future sings. Me too. I'll be honest with you. hundred percent. That one I probably need to be drunk with a Lori Harvey twin. Maybe a little coke. <laughs> yeah. A Lori, Lori Harvey, Harvey twin. Like yeah, because I can see how that's fire them. Yeah. I need you. <laughs> you ever been drunk and realize you're talking too loud? <laughs> Start yelling all types. I need you. Right here. Yeah, that's all it is. She's right there. And he's saying, yeah. right here. Ba- babe, I'm right next to you. Oh, man. My man, future needs her, man. I feel I know how it is to not not let a chick leave. She <laughs> done been on way too many flights. They, done tried to, they thought she was flying somewhere. Yeah. They tried to steal her cullinan. She's <laughs> she's ran through all her drawers. She needs to go shopping. And let me just say, I didn't say last week because we didn't really talk about it, but that that video of the cullinan is so glad that she's safe and nobody was hurt there, number one. But number two, that also reminded me of exactly why I didn't get that cullinan. There are really levels to things, guys, like Meek said. And sometimes the price of something is the price of it for the reason, for for a reason. That $500,000 truck shouldn't be parked next to anywhere where Mazdas are. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That should be valet. It, should be, it should be valet, for yeah. sure. Yo, but this is... um. This is some scary shit though, because this one thousand percent. This, went, this, this went, is like, super scary. Yeah. We could have watched this girl get killed on camera. Yeah, like that's the the, the flip side of this shit. No, but Joe's right. Like, don't it begs if you have the, a car, it begs the question. Yeah, why yeah, but is if this I'm in my building? And it's like, then why do you have a car there? What do you mean? In my building? Why, am I why do my you car? have this car? In not. this building yeah. by a Mazda. Oh no, nah, but you know how it is, Joe. In them buildings, you, them nicer condos, like. Some people have nice cars. People can have money and, I do and still know drive go, Priuses. And I do like, know that niggas will go lay up in the nice building parking lot and wait for course, you to come in. Absolutely. Uh, we've seen this happen in Safari. Uh, bottom line, I'm just really happy that she's all right. In the, in the future, I hope that she would not try to fight the assailants. Yeah, this, this could have went bad. Bro. Yeah. Like, if these was them type of niggas, like, could have went real they could have really hurt that girl. Yeah. She tough, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fuck with her. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just the walk and then away just text. walk off, though. <laughs> yeah, that right. was the wild part. <laughs> she oh, made no, a Teflon. She's texting like, yeah, these niggas done robbed me. Yo. I well, no, she had the key. They couldn't even, you can't even take the car out without that key. So she was smart after she realized I'm not going to win this fight. So these niggas took a gym bag. Because it got Supreme Fucking on girls. Because it. <laughs> it got Supreme. <laughs> Supreme <laughs> gym bag. Fucking girls. Uh, but yeah, Joe, you are one thousand percent right. You yeah. should not be parking that car in a, a garage. Yeah. <laughs> where else would you park it? You, I don't think you should own that vehicle if you live in a building where this is the lot. Correct. That could yeah. be Republican, Joe. But <clears throat> no, no, right. no, no, you are right. You are one hundred percent right. Shit, all these niggas got cars that live in buildings like that. But that's that's not the point. Yeah, <laughs> that's, Word, that's yeah. nasty. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's dangerous. Fam, that car is only supposed to be driven for a season and a half. By the way. By a chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, all uh, right. What else? What else we got? Uh, I didn't listen to the Tame Impala album, but I, I saw some good reviews. Um, Tame Impala. But uh, I'm gonna listen to that. Yeah, but let's 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 get some applause real quick, man. All right. Hold on. My, my my guy Parks dropped something, man. Oh yeah, we back. We back. My guy, my guy Parks we're dropped some our, shit. Uh, Woo! We're keeping our EP, <laughs> EP album single uh, release is coming. Woo! <laughs> So with the go, go check out the Passport Part 2. Go, go check that out. Thanks, Roy. Yeah. We're we'll playing we'll play with the algorithms a little bit. Gotta play with the algorithms. Yeah. After Boldy, y'all gotta step up your artwork, though. Yeah, no <laughs> That's Bam. That's oh, that is hard, though. Thank you. That is hard. Burning Who doesn't heart. love a fireplace? Right. Let's see what they did. <laughs> There's a heart burning in there. I see it. <laughs> it's their feelings being burnt. That's right. 
Oh, that's they, that's their version of I still love this bitch. Yo. <laughs> they tried to Yo, let stole me know, it. Man. Stole it. <laughs> 2023 is coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else is important? Anything else? That's a good question. Um, Y'all want to talk about uh, Amber, Am- Amber Rose, Amber Rose's baby daddy, Chris Brown, the game, and Mac Wilds tattoos? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Yo, can you a hey. what a week? <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, 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 listen. Time out. Last week I wanted to come in here and just ask y'all what's going on with some some of the shit that's going on, but I forgot. Amber tattooed some shit on her head, but cool, we can give it a pass. Amber looks great, period. So cool. She played herself with that tattoo though. She's, that's true. She's way too it, pretty for that. She tattoo. don't need that. She's that's just true. naturally pretty. She got a head tattoo? Like, yeah, uh, like you don't right tattoo on the forehead, right on the like I think it's a is it she could have tatted her name? head and I would have been like okay like the side of her head or something like to tattoo your forehead is insane like I, I don't whatever you paying tribute to and all tattoo your head something but your forehead well Amber and like, Amber's baby on. daddy they're family I'm leaving them out of this but if y'all want to look at their tattoos and internally comment with us through telekinesis internally comment <laughs> <laughs> then fine Chris Brown tattooed a sneaker on his face <laughs> got it cool 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 uh, Jordan hey, 3 fam one, one of my favorite hey, sneakers hey, ever fam fam you like it I love it I have nothing bad to say about Chris Brown I think he's one of the greatest performers and musicians that we have so I love him too agreed the game the game tattooed uh, a sideways number 8 uh, above his uh, eyebrow, uh, in between ribbons, game has a ribbons. lot of tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got to go to L.A. and do Duce was... Palooza, man. Don't laugh at his ribbons. I mean, but even, even, even Game and Chris, like they already have face tats already. Like, I know, so we're not even going to dwell on the game because yeah. game is somebody, tribute, man. If, somebody if you, if you have somebody that has passed away, email game. <laughs> He will, he will put it. He will put it on his cheek. <laughs> if anybody has somebody, to yeah, anybody. Play. Now, I, I was at dinner and someone, right when it happened, showed me their phone and said, "Can you believe Game got a Kobe tat?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." Wait, what, you mean to- Game's not in? <laughs> Game didn't jump down here with Kobe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> if you leave, I'm leaving too. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all are sick. <laughs> y'all are sick. Joe, Joe is sick. That was you. <laughs> if you Just leave, Joe. I'm leaving too. Okay, now I know we've gone through game. Chris Brown, Amber Rose, and Amber Rose's baby daddy. Scream man, please go to Mac Wilds' page. Friend of the show. Go to <laughs> Mac Wilds' workout inspiration picture that he posted. <laughs> workout inspiration. Zoom in, please. Hey, all right, man. You doing Zoom in of... on that. That's Basquiat. Mm-hmm. Scream man, don't zoom into this, please. Yo. <laughs> All right. Ignore what Joe was saying. <laughs> that looks like shit. That's How bo- about I, I don't was- care what it I'm tired of you fucking cool kids telling me that something's Basquiat and I have to be silent. Right, that yeah, looks yeah. bad. Keep up. <laughs> All right. What about that? <laughs> is that Basquiat? Why are you making me look at Mac Wild's body right now? That's that's the real question. Why are you making me do Cause this? That right, because you into tattoos. I am. <laughs> Crit- React. I'm not into Mac Wild's stomach. Is that is, no, we on his we on his arm now? He's blood. I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck? He's blood. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you want from me? The Staten Mac Island blood. No fucking blood. <laughs> it might just be a bruise. <laughs> a bruise. Mac Wild, I ain't gonna hold you, my guy. Them you made you made Those me watch T Rex take a shot. You made them me tattoos. go right into hey, Mac Wild's belly hey, button. I don't want to be here anymore. Y'all tell that Basquiat shit to fucking Noah Complex or, or some shit. I'm not rolling. <laughs> don't just scribble on my ribs and tell me. I'm sure you, nah, got, I'm yo. sure you got a scribble on your ribs somewhere. Any scribble I had has been covered. Oh, okay. That shit looked like a bad cover. Like he started some shit. Said, "Nah, I'm gonna start this over." It's Basquiat. <laughs> <laughs> just, That's what Basquiat did. I had enough of this. Over your head. Over your head, King. Why Mac Wiles won't breathe? Because he's doing the six-pack shot. All right, forget it, man. Forget <laughs> You're it, man. He's working out. For- doing the shit. All right, no. You're right, and I accept that answer from you and believe it. I just want to show y'all he's working out. 
Yeah. That's all. He a dad now, not, not yeah, trying to give you, us the dad bod. Yeah, but you can still breathe, my nigga. <laughs> uh, are you trying to say his, his stomach ain't that flat? No one's stomach is flat. Alexa, play breathe by fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Screaming, you can get it off there now since Basquiat did it. These niggas don't be wanting to. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't laugh because some guy Basquiat, we don't know did something. Yeah, Basquiat do just give you that pass. <laughs> it's art, man. What you going to do, Joe? It's art. We critique art every day. Yeah, so. no, we, we critique them. We, we kill new, artists. We got some new skiats on Okay, the, but Jay Z dedicated a whole album to him, so we have to accept it. Mm, stumped you. Yes. <laughs> yes. He did. All right, come on. Are we revisiting? Um, are, are we? Well, we're the only people that have been closely chronicling the party versus the weekend battle. Mm. It's a battle. It's a real thing. So, I know you guys have already said that you you agree now and you believe it. Yeah. yeah we're so there's no need for me to ask. But he what was, do you think of this? He was he was mobile in the car. Mm. Yeah. He flipped it. It's the weekend mobile. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely weekend mobile. Nah, he let him live. Hey, where, where are you taking the party mobile? Out on the weekend. To the after hours. I was, no, I was about to say, what a direct shot. Because only time you go to the party next door is mm. after hours. Mm. On the weekend. It's the only time. No, nah, I see how y'all putting it We together. keep talking about this, <laughs> but what is party going to can't Don't party have to hit the weekend now? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> And I feel partly responsible. Can you hit someone with that mustache? When I, when I, when I saw the, when I saw the weekend <laughs> and um, where, wherever, where, I don't remember Post now. Party. But when I, instrument, you were at party. That yeah. was Puff, uh, um, party. When I saw the weekend yeah. there, he did say Puff's that, birthday. He did say he listens to this podcast intently. I just didn't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> but now it seemed like he just <laughs> he's like, feeding into yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> come on, weekend. <laughs> like, where his I'm out? not this correct. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't believe it this much. Yeah, this is blatant now. <laughs> the this, after hours? Yeah, it's blatant. <laughs> and how mobile is this trailer? <laughs> it's very mobile. Yeah, he's in a mobile. He's in a mobile. Yeah. He's On his way to a party, for sure. Yeah. And whose party do you think is better? Parties or the weekends? Weekends. I the listen, weekend, fam, I listen to House, we, house yeah, of Balloons. We made out <laughs> I, I know which party <laughs> is better. Party? Oh, I did man. hear good things about Party's album, though. From people that have heard it. <laughs> Words I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good album, but I mean, this has to. After hours, come on. <laughs> Who's you think's gonna be better? That's tough because we can't got so much mm. money. Then why is it tough? <laughs> I'll be liking the low five because Party <laughs> makes good albums. <laughs> party makes great albums. Weekend makes really fucking good albums though. Yeah. Party ain't made a great album in a while, and I'm not gonna. We not on, not doing a party deep dive. I love you, Party, and I and I want a great album from you, and I think you can make it. But the weekend is great and has the money to be great. Mm. That ain't sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry. There may be one factor that party has, and we'll revisit this when it comes out, that may push his shit over the top. Because there's someone that we've been waiting for. You got Jay Electronica on there? Close. Mm. On a party's album? We can leave it here. Oh, okay. It's a secret, secret. There, there may, there is, may is be someone, you say, is someone, push. Is someone I I've been you. waiting on on parties. Oh, Rihanna? I didn't say that. Yeah, there's a Rihanna record on it. We know that already. I didn't say that. Well, I don't know that, but yeah, that's safe to assume. Yeah, when Rihanna posted a picture of her in the studio with Pharrell, I was like, all right, got what you needed from party. <laughs> <laughs> moving along? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm moving right along. Hey, Pharrell, don't you go rapping on no Rihanna records, man. For real. He, don't make her he has already. For he re- made her rap. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, what song was that? Yeah, yeah. She want, bodied that. I want to hear Rihanna, <laughs> but I, 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 ne- I always want to hear Rihanna rap. I like. When I'm Rihanna never against too. Rihanna rapping. I don't want to hear Pharrell rap all the time. Yeah, I think he wrote. I rap. yeah, I like my Pharrell raps like every eight years, every leap year. Yeah, and depending I love on Pharrell the record, singing, like certain got records, a little skateboard vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he can, and it can't be a straight out. rap. Like it's throw some melody in it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do y'all have any uh, feedback about Rihanna and Pharrell allegedly in the studio? I just want to hear music, man. I love yeah, Rihanna. Nothing to say there. Don't let me know who Rihanna has with. been in with every single producer period, so I'm not. That didn't move me. I figured she was with Pharrell. Yeah. Um, and that explains why Party hasn't put an album out yet if she's still recording. Parks earlier was telling me about um, 
we were discussing different playlists, and he said that Crooked Crooked Eye put out a Valentine's Day playlist. He did. Uh, like rap or R&B? Uh, rap. Yo, I love Crook, but... No? Nah. You my guy. Not looking to you for the Valentine's Day tunes. Who you got up there? I need love. Oh, okay. me and my bitch. The Light. Teenage Love. Love. I love all these songs, but... No, this is not. Kind of sounds like a great playlist. No, it's a great playlist. It's a great just, playlist. It just, just don't sound like for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Depends on what kind of zone you're trying to get on Valentine's Day. Graha. Yeah. Good point there. Yeah. If you're trying to fuck a bitch with your man pouring some Ciroc in your mouth, this <laughs> might be the soundtrack? playlist for you. Yeah, but make sure Duke. Nah, is make sure Duke is there, naked clearly. next to me. <laughs> Are you and Crook? <laughs> I don't even joke with Rory like that. <laughs> I saw a lot of people put out playlists for Valentine's Day, actually. Fuck else I seen put out one. The JBP? Do we? No. no. <laughs> there was another rapper that put out a playlist. A couple Savon of them. For Valentine's Day? Yeah, a couple of other people did. <laughs> Savon has the well, heaviest while hand While y'all try to... While y'all... What happened? I don't care. Savon, every time I ask him for a drink, tries to kill me. <laughs> if I stumble my words towards like the latter end of the podcast, it's always Savon's fault because he pours... The whole bottle of liquor into a cup. <laughs> what did um? Uh, you don't even get drunk off this. What did you got? And this kind of happened right after we recorded the last pod. But I asked y'all anyway. What did y'all think of the babies cleanup about the babies? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed it. <laughs> what did you think about the, the babies cleanup about the babies? He's got babies. Yeah, baby. He's got, well, he's, he's got a baby. He has one. And I see the baby in the video. With apparently, the there's one. Allegedly, there's one coming on the uh, way. After he was with. The baby's the baby mother, like yeah. a week prior. Mm. Mm. That's what he dealing with. A lot, right? lot of a lot of babies Mendeecees dropping there somewhere. A lot of babies. Huh? We still got the Mendeecees dropping there somewhere. No, I do not. No, oh, man. No, I. Do He's not. free now, man. Oh, that's true. We, and that was false art. And how come Maul ain't set up the Mendeecees yeah. interview here? I meant to tell you that. Hmm? How come Maul ain't set up the Mendeecees interview here? Mendeecees, Rory, you, you want to you want to interview? Maul no, no, comes in late. <laughs> Sits down, laughs with us, and leaves. He's, he's not calling Cash Doll. That's, that's swag. <laughs> he's not calling Mendeecees. He's not calling anyone to participate with us. He's not inviting us to his house. No, that's good. Not man. inviting us to a game, the Barclays. Del no, Barclays. he's at the garden, man. He's at the Barclays. The Barclays. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the, uh, that Astros press conference, but I won't. About the uh, cheating shit. <laughs> About the cheating. Was that, that might have been the worst. Did I see Altuve crying? <laughs> Who? Altuve. I thought you said two bit from power. I was like, what? Why would he be crying? Two bit crying. Nah, he's a big he, Astros nah fan. he stood tall, held it down. <laughs> I about to say, what are you yeah. crying for? Everyone Took knows like two bit is a really big Astros yeah. fan. Duke from the Astros held a press conference to say, yo, everybody is sorry, but the cheating really didn't have nothing to do with the winning. <laughs> oh, no, I feel him. <laughs> Like we was gonna smoke them anyway. <laughs> yeah. We need to cheat. Well, that was that's funny because that was the Patriots' response. Like we beat y'all by thirty five. <laughs> like fuck what the balls no, was the, doing. No, the Patriots is the most gangster niggas in the world. They cheated for like 20, they sent, 20 years. They sent the scouts over, and the scout had the camera on a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> the scout had the camera on the coaching staff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, fuck it, fam. The Pats is ill. Yeah. I fuck with the Pats because of that. That was I do. like the Jets. That the was Pats their backstage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a Pats version of backstage. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Oh, good old Bill. Uh, I don't have nothing else, guys. You guys I, watch I, any uh, of the AB interviews? I know he's on a press run. I'm, I didn't watch any of them, but I know it's I know it's happening. Sometimes my media brethren really let me down with just who they let up there and why. Like, why are we talking to Antonio Brown? Because he got an album coming out? No, because he's Antonio Brown. Come on. Out of any... The, the guests that they have up there. Like, you about to say Antonio Brown not supposed to be up there? No, that's not what I said. No, 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 no. I, Antonio Brown is famous. So, I mean, he can go anywhere. I, yeah, I'm not mad at them having him up there. Hmm. I think AB needs some help. I didn't watch the interview. I hope they discuss Niggas that Niggas go part. make fools of themselves in their field and then come over here and be the cool kid. Yeah. It's nasty, it's huh? Nasty. Yeah. 
It's nasty. Like, why are you cool over here? Like, why are you over here pouring fucking Cristal on a Richard Millie? Why are you over here? Like, nigga, I pray for him and I hope he's well. Yeah, me too. Yeah, fuck all this interview shit. Go get some help, man. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. The I watched the video that's, that's you the watching your kids get in a cop car. Like, that's what I'm saying. No, AB certainly that's, needs, that's certainly needs some help. Like, you can't, sure. come, you can't just come that around kids. Now you about to just do a press run and promote yeah. your single? Nah, nah. And we'll do that. None of us will, will have the talk. Nah. Yeah, nah. I just think that's nasty. But to each your song. Um, what else did I have? What else did I have? What else did I have? Did I don't you think the Travis Scott AI shit. No, what do you mean, yeah. Allen Iverson and Travis Scott it's a weird, did something? It's a weird sentence. This is a Travis Scott beat for I was sure. Say, um, this is this fire already. <laughs> right, it's vibey. <laughs> <laughs> This is not Travis Scott. So this is a song completely generated by computers based on like a Travis Scott algorithm. So when does Alan come in? <laughs> <laughs> He's the second verse, right? Hey, give him the game ball. <laughs> hey, just give it to him. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. But where did you find that? So they, they, it's been floating around in the old internets. Uh, I just thought it was pretty interesting uh, that they made a complete song with just a computer. Well, have you and seen it that? Sounds, kid? It doesn't sound like Travis Scott, but it sounds like Travis Scott. That, you know I thought that saying? was Travis Scott. Yeah. Um, have you seen that? You've seen that kid on Twitter that remakes oh, yeah, every yeah. song. So I got Tory Lanez, in a bad bunny one. I didn't everybody. To it yet. Yeah, man. <laughs> see that? I like that kid. He's pretty funny. I think he's great. <laughs> I think he's an artist, and he don't want to come out and do his own song. No, I think it's coming soon. I think he yeah. made. I think this he, is rollout. He's an artist and made that whatever the first one was, and it popped off, and now he's fucked. Because <laughs> yeah. now he has to keep this up, and now you want to put out your. No, own he's got to be able to make a dope record himself. Right. Like, okay, I see you breaking out other dudes' nah, records. No, but until in, 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 he does, nah, still give us these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, now he's fucked. Now you got to keep yeah. doing them. I'm a fan for sure. <laughs> All right, I, now I don't have anything else. Yeah, well, that, that, that was that it. Was a, it a, a, B was last I, I would talk about the outsider, but y'all say I spoil it when I'm not trying to spoil it. Let people catch up. So I have nothing to say. Catch up. It's a great show. Fucking the McBillions doc. I'm still on it. They was wilding. Is that good? <laughs> yes. I haven't found a reason to care about it enough to watch it. Oh, no. Do you have to? Oh, well, okay. Well, Parks, we're well, it's nothing to care about. It's, not, it's nothing to care <laughs> yeah, about. How about to say, I don't think you can. It's yeah, ever going to care. But, but, but it's, it's like, Monopoly. It's, I mean, it's, listen, it's, but it's good. Yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah, I'll check it out. Um, Let me just double check this. this you guys watch Bojack Horseman? I think I'm finished. Watch what? Bojack Horseman. Mm. I've seen a few episodes. I don't really get I have not. Like that oh, shit's phenomenal. It's the last season. I hear that. Yeah. How many seasons? Six, maybe? Seven? Some, something like that. Yeah. It's not a lot. How long is the show? 30 minutes? 30 minutes. 20 something minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, so yeah. maybe. maybe it's, really, it's a cartoon. But it looks like it's about to be like some wild, goofy shit, but it's, it's actually kind of like. I enjoy cartoons. And deep. Uh, mm. Well, where, where did you go for New York Fashion Week? Mm. <laughs> Nowhere, man. Come I on, see, man. You, you giving on the forty below? Come on, on man. man. Come on. Yeah. Right, Come on. You Winter, man. Tell us who you rocking right now about this ensemble. Who? who, who <laughs> first, well, who are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm wearing uh, these, Jesus. Yeah, the, yeah. These are from uh, from Timberland. Yeah, these are Timberland. <laughs> okay. Got these from. You went to the Tim the Timberland from, guy from the from the uh, Juice uptown. Collection. You got these from uptown. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna tell y'all how 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 how. Hard and long, I laughed at Pop Smoke versus the photographer. <laughs> I, laugh, I, I still no, don't understand I, why I, I laughed at too. No, no, I laughed for days. <laughs> I, I, th- I may still be laughing. <laughs> yes. Y'all not getting it. <laughs> no, I'm getting it. <laughs> that was the exact... Yo, scream, man, can you get this off of the, the thing? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That's a contortionist. That was Mark Jacobs' uh, uh, okay. fashion week show, and Nikki was um, recording that. Uh, yeah, telling, telling the girls to get away from her man. Thoughts? No, no thoughts. <laughs> Same. <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> no thoughts. Bob. Thoughts. It's no thoughts. 
<laughs> what is Scream Man doing, man? <laughs> Yo, Pop Smoke versus the photographer <laughs> is the story I never knew I needed. Because for 20 years, for 20 years, we've been trying to tell the folk, the folk story of when the tough guy meets the internet. Yeah, <laughs> and this was visual <laughs> representation <laughs> of that. So, and I was just waking up when I caught this story. <laughs> Apparently, Pop Smoke hired a photographer. That's yes. what makes this hilarious. <laughs> no, don't let more read it. Get it off of there. <laughs> uh, Apparently, Pop Smoke <laughs> hired a photographer to come snap some shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The photographer did just that, and then they went their separate ways, and the photographer, just like our photographer, Silver, does, mm -hmm. decided to post a few shots. As he should. <laughs> and, As most photographers. Shout out to Silver, too. He had an uh, opening. Yeah, any, any, yeah, shout out to Silver, and congratulations on everything you're doing always, and the opening. Always love to Silver. But the photographer uploaded, like, the worst pictures of Pop Smoke <laughs> from the day. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, fam, did you take these from a Blackberry Curve? Wait, you couldn't have thought that he was smoking this. Look, he watermarked it. What the fuck, Paris Gnarly? I want to see what the DM said. Wait, oh shit, I didn't see this one. Oh, you didn't see this? Ah! Oh, this is the funniest part. <laughs> You're going to get shot. <laughs> yes. He is going to get shot. All right, let me see what, allegedly, let me see what, uh, uh, let me tell you what, uh, so Pop Smoke said, yo, you try to disrespect me, cuz, why you post them pics like this of me? I wish I could see the other dude's face. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm trying to disrespect you? <laughs> like, he thought he did him a solid. Yeah. He said, you don't like? I'll take down. Take it down, homie. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever try to play me like that. You played yourself. That's <laughs> that's how you look. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> that's how you look. It's fucking yeah. nuts. Hey, at this I'm point, in the, wait, bold. but wait. At this point in the conversation, Pop Smoke is confused because I'm sure niggas don't even talk to him like that no <laughs> more. So he said, "Yo, what type of time you on, kid?" <laughs> Uh, hey, just take the fucking I'm pics really down. Confused. Take yeah. the pics down before I fucking have to go over there. Nah, I, I, like, I like the photographer's energy, though. All right, <laughs> that's how you look. <laughs> like, that's how you look. Like, that's like, not, you not how he looks. <laughs> that's Mo, not how Pop Mo, Smoke looks. You have went through selects of our pod and been like, my face doesn't look like that. I look nuts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get You don't it. look like that. Your facial expression. But I think dude was saying he's not a photographer. He's a videographer. He just took some stills that day. Like, All right, well, well either, he clearly he, is not a photographer. Yeah, he was, because I think I seen that. He was like, I, I don't <laughs> okay. even. Clearly. No, that, no, no, that's big facts. Yeah. Fuck it. There go the pics. He went too far distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> don't come to VA. Here's my thing. Shot by Marley. <laughs> <laughs> what a hashtag. Oh, my God. Here's my thing, though. Like, if you want to work in this business, why are you leaking shit like that? Not the pictures, whatever. That's fine. The DMs, this back and forth, like... <coughs> listen, I don't, know, I don't know this dude's aspirations in life. I don't know if they are to shoot rappers. So, pardon me if that's... Wait, who are you talking about right now? The, uh, <laughs> the VA guy. Oh, okay. The, the photographer, yeah. videographer. You know what like, type of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. His name is Pop Smoke. I think Papa shoots, Pop Mall. shoot rappers. Mall. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mall, I frequent Brooklyn often. Yeah. I am not saying anything bad about right. Pop Smoke. Uh, Pop Smoke is why I won't go to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you frequent there with these? Because my friends live there. Uh, um, oh, so you're safe indoors at least. For sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Good, definitely good. indoors. Definitely good. indoors. Don't Uber right to the front door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, who's in front of the building right now? <laughs> but no, yeah, drive I, around again. But leaking DMs like you seen what Fifty said about Pop Smoke at the end of that Ebro <laughs> at the end of that Ebro interview. No, I didn't. <laughs> Wait, they was having their famous and fifty is really funny, man. Fifty is really funny. Well, I know hilarious. we know Super I know hilarious. we knew that. It's, it's too long. It's too long of a clip for me to play, so I won't. But that him and Ebro were going back and forth and they trolling shit about who killed New York hip hop. And they went off about two minutes and then at the end of that, he, he uh um, Ebro was like, "No, nah, I'm playing Man New York records now. I'm playing Pop Smoke." And Fifty said, ha, ha, "You better, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just better, nigga." <laughs> Wait, can we just go to the end? Let's just go to the end. I got the clip. The stuff he doesn't have. You know, he does. He thrives on on picking the the the, the new the young ones. 
when they come in the, the nah, new never, boys. Nah, never, never, never. Only when, only when they're fraudulent. Only when you like pop smoke. You like pop love smoke? pop smoke. Oh, you better. <laughs> Woo, Woo, Bell, Woo, Woo Bell. baby. Now speaking of, speaking of pop smoke, pig, um, speaking a lot of, of people. Pop smoke. <laughs> Woo baby. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's all I got. That's all I got, gentlemen. I'm I'm potted out. I've given you all that I have to offer today. That's all right, man. Leave it no all on T-Rex, the floor. No T-Rex, hey, no T-Rex, no you, T-Rex. You left it on the court. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you did. Uh, as did you guys. As did, as did you guys. I thought this was a good pod. It's a playoff too. game. Yeah. All right, I meant to get into this a little earlier. We're at the end of the pod, but I'm still getting it off. It's February, Black History Month. You already know the vibrations. Uh, and I think this week I'm going with... In honor of Maul going to see the photograph, Issa Rae. I'm going with Issa Rae. Okay. Huge inspiration for me because she just seems like an around-the-way girl. All that shit that Jennifer Lopez sold, y'all, Issa, <laughs> Issa Rae seems like that <laughs> to me. So for her to create this show, body the show, get the re-up from the network, go on to be in a movie, go on to produce, go on to... She's doing some shit in comedy now. She's just... All of the producers... She body and shit. I, y'all, y'all are inspiring to me. Thank you for making the road ahead seem a little more clear. That's nice. what I got. Okay. Nice. Uh, I actually saw this on IG the other day and thought it'd be good for this segment. Um, this is Marie Van Britten Brown, um, who was a nurse in Queens um, and didn't feel safe on her way home. So for her own safety, she created a technology that would show and record who was at your front door while you was in another room. Um, so she initially, initially created the first modern-day home security, um, patented the whole shit with her husband, uh, and I think that's dope. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> I hope she still owns the patent. I'm sure. I'm The way they described it in this article and this IG shit, that, yeah, they patented it in 1966, and they still have it. So well, Got it. Awesome. For her. Good for them. Dope. Uh, I want to shout out and salute Keenan Ivy Wayans. Nice. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I like that. Uh, I like that know, a lot. Actor, comedian, filmmaker, and uh, Emmy Award winner for uh, Living Color back in the nineties. Great show. And we know that that show helped spawn the careers of Jamie Fox, Jim Carrey, David uh, Allen Greer, David Allen Tommy Greer, Tommy Davidson, the other Wayne's brothers. I mean, yeah. Jennifer Lopez, J Lo. So um, shit, even Keenan's work with Eddie. Like yeah, like Keenan. I don't think it's his just due in, no, he in comedy. He's somebody that uh, we, we tend to forget when we start speaking about, you know, prominent filmmakers. So. Come on, man. I went to, I, y'all didn't go see Low Down Dirty Shame. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I went yeah. to see that. Yeah, so I want to uh, salute uh, Keenan Ivy Wayans nice. this week. Yeah, salute uh, to Keenan. I'm going to keep it upstate. It's not Elmira, but it's Ithaca, which is close by, and it's piggybacking off the Malcolm X thing. Uh, Alex Haley wrote the autobiography of Malcolm X mm-hmm. and The Roots. He's from Ithaca. Like a half hour, 45 minutes from Elmira. So shout out to Alex Haley. Hey, Parks be schooling me on who's from upstate. Yeah. Word. <laughs> I like that. See? No, I, mean, yeah, I think it's know. dope. You yeah, know, me too. Uh, and shout out to Styles just because he's on. Yeah. <laughs> Styles should just be part of the segment. Period. He is. He's here with us. Uh, Savon, take your ass home, man. <laughs> take your ass home. I know you got this theory that because it's Valentine's Day, the single women are out in. Droves They're not Maybe not droves But I feel like You got no, a good they, shot With they, whoever they out. is out It's a Friday night On Valentine's yeah, Day they one. They're not and, out And you see that he did The need Man. to know Valentine's Day uh, merch With the heart on it And you didn't offer us Any merch True Like you be getting Our merch Before we get our merch Fair. You can't even give us Some need to know it's shit It's 15 or... degrees outside Go home bro <laughs> Go on what, what, Honestly what you got Against home <laughs> You getting beat at home Let us know You don't got no hoes at home <laughs> When you're young, home is like the flu. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. You just don't want to catch home. No. Yeah, that's a fact. No. I feel you. But tonight, go home. Nah, go out there. Nah, man. go out. You'll find one. Go out. You, you just need one. That's it. The single the single girls are with the, the single dudes that they're fucking. Or at yeah. the bar, getting drunk and lonely. looking, looking Getting hammered. Looking, for, <laughs> looking to get thrashed. Looking for <laughs> consensual thrashisms. <laughs> That's the other thing. Savon don't really be thrashing shit, man. Like he just out, he just out searching. How you know that? Because he don't even have a destination. He just saying, "Yo, I think there are single women outside." Yeah. Like he means outside. Uh, in his defense, my, it's my ten best, degrees. My best thrashing was when I didn't really have a place to go. <laughs> man, listen, if that nigga don't pack it up 
<laughs> if you Some don't, inspiration. If you don't go put them brand new Jordans back in Fight Club. <laughs> plastic still on them. Yeah. You got a bottle of Ciroc? Put them back in the plastic. They got uh, ironed his jeans. <laughs> Look at yeah, all you, them. you and Look Erickson at, about, to, <laughs> you, about to hit the room? You sick when you iron the, the, the fray in your jeans. So that, so that hey, boogie on in the back? The <laughs> iron the fray. Do you guys have a steamer? <laughs> <laughs> you want to steam the holes? For real. Look at that fray. Look how it's laying. Nah, it's laying right. Savon, you have to go home. You're going the you, you got the socks. red and the dad hat matching the Valentine's hoodie. Yeah, but go home though. Nah, go it's to the too Irish cold bar. for the dad hat. Your ears freezing. 15 degrees outside. Go, cold go to the Irish bar. You'll find an easy one there. Now, really. now, cold. I, now I think about it. Anytime you match the Under Armour socks with the Jordans, you should go home. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. But you match God. the socks with the shoes. <laughs> and the fray. Go the home, socks match the shoes and the fray. <laughs> go home. You no, have he's to go. At, he's getting a look at Yo, your butt ass. After this part, it's still. Yo, as like, soon you're as matching you, your underwear to shit, you're looking to get butt ass. <laughs> What color yeah. drawers you got on, She's my nigga? Hold up. Yeah, yeah, underwear underwear hold up, sneakers. man. You got black and red uh, boxer briefs on? Your underwear match your sneakers? <laughs> Yo, do me a favor. As soon as you deliver the timestamps, yeah. drive straight to Long Island. <laughs> no stops. Let's scream, man. Drive. Drop them on, man. Yeah, man. Uh, all right, that's it, man. I'm out of here. Good podcast. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe out there. Remember, she's not private. She's ashamed. And that's all I got. Unless unless my brethren have any parting words. Enjoy your loving couple weekend. Yeah. Aw, that's what it says from the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Aww. Yeah. She she doesn't like you. She just wanted a gift for Instagram today. Mm. That's all. Okay, now you pardon. Mm. That's that's all. That's mm. fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't even go to my baby mom's page because I ain't even want to see if it was roses or something up there. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm <laughs> staying with you. <laughs> go listen to the mom. More. Yeah, because it's like, come see, on. Niggas, no, that's don't post wrong. that. Don't no, post then, that. You, then you buy the roses then, nigga. Mm. If you don't want to see him, you buy him. No, I just don't. Well, no, she could also she could also get, she could also get two sets of roses. By the oh, way, oh no, that's a fact. We know that. That's a fact. Yeah. But yeah, you know, we don't want to look. Yo, I don't want to look. Hey, I, I mean, know you look. I you, know you, what's your burner? Nah, look. You what's muted, your burner? You, you got your burner. Look. You muted her today. You know my burner, Joe Budden Pod. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the that fuck, is fuck is you talking that about? Is burner, That's the burner. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Savon Wallen. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know my burner. <laughs> but, but I didn't go look, though. I didn't go look. That's funny. I didn't go look. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. <laughs> Drinking with, I got a fucked up shorty. Ah, uh. <laughs> who paid you? Ain't go to mall. Come on, give it up. I'm on, hey, but I'm liking everything. Y'all know me, y'all know my style. But who paid you? A little afraid to go check on nobody in case they had something up there that well, wasn't I'm from not you. Afraid of, that. Uh, of course not. I'm sorry. I believe that. There was a lot of revelations today, though. Oh, I'm yeah, like, oh, she fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going. <laughs> why we, fam, Why we ending now? <laughs> I looked at hey, I looked at some, some of these pics. I was like, ah, oh, oh, hey, where I got you it? Yeah. Familiar Rolexes. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man, Look at this fucking tall soccer nigga you done yeah. found. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> okay. All right, all right, you rocking. <laughs> all right, bye. Chicks, chicks be finding the the same dude with the same forearm tat and the same Rolex mm-hmm. every sure. other month. <laughs> No, I- what is it, Basquiat tat? Just find a new tat, man. <laughs> yeah, Mac. No, 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 no,